What's going on, everybody? It is the Toe in the Show show. It's Friday night, baby. What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy, Toe Tags, in the building. As always, you know, show's going to be late if he shows up. But, you know, he's been he's been consistent. He's been coming around like 12.05, 12.07. So, you know, that's always something to look forward to. Right when we get off, boom, there he goes. He gets on. You know what I'm saying? Quills might stop by. And we don't know who else might stop by. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those days we're just going to chill. It's Friday night. We feel all right. We doing big things. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Amy? How you doing? How you doing? Yo, so the big the big talk around town now is the Little Mermaid. Y'all heard about this? Have y'all heard about the Little Mermaid shit? So, apparently, Expert Gaming, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, apparently, they dropped the teaser trailer to the Little Mermaid. So nice to be here. It's nice to have you here, Amy. It's nice to have everybody here. Expert Gaming, welcome. Uh, everybody else is watching. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, Amy. Everybody else is watching. Welcome. Enjoy. Sit back. Enjoy. What's going on, Pro? We watching each other's uh, podcasts. I see you, baby. I see you out there. Normal guy had pizza and breadsticks today. Woo. Okay, you winning out here. Pizza and breadsticks. Like plain pizza? Yeah, like plain pizza or pepperoni pizza? Don't tell me you had the pineapple pizza. Don't Don't be like Kenny. Don't be like Kenny, you know. Kenny will steal you wrong. Don't worry about that shit. But um, what I have, I had, I had a twenty piece chicken nugget. Yo, before we get into the into the Little Mermaid, I go to McDonald's, right? <laughs> I walk in because it's on my way home. I was like, yo, let me get a large ten piece meal with a coke. She goes, all right, got you. I said, now let me get a twenty piece, and she's like, wait, what? I said, did I confuse you with ordering too many chicken nuggets? Like, <laughs> like, did, did I? Did I, you know, fricassee your brain or some shit? She starts laughing. I'm like, all I want is a 10-piece and an additional 20-piece. And she looked at the machine like if she broke it. And I looked at her, I was like, yo, listen, I didn't come here to start no beef. I didn't want to start no war with you. I just want some fucking chicken nuggets. What's the problem? You don't have separate buttons for this shit? Like, what, what's going on here? <laughs> and then she tells me, she's like, nah. I gave you a medium drink instead of for a large, but I just fucking change. I just tell you, I just tell them to get you a large. I'm like, this is the shit we was talking about with cabs. This is the same shit we was talking about with cabs. How did I order a large meal? And there's an option for a smaller drink. What? The meal can only be upgraded to bigger fries and a bigger drink. You can't give me a bigger meal. You can't give me a bigger sandwich or a bigger fucking... Let me get the large chicken nuggets. Oh, so you want the 35-piece instead of for the 20-piece. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? So, yeah, that's that's what happened at, at McDonald's. I didn't know, you know, you can stun them. <laughs> you, could, you could hurt their brains when you order more than one thing. But yeah, I mean that's that comes with the territory. But um, but yeah, so like I was saying, the the Little Mermaid, right? Disney drops the teaser trailer for the Little Mermaid. Now they have one of the twins from Grownish, the spinoff to Blackish, where they were in college. Uh, she's playing the Little Mermaid. Was it Azriel? Right? Is that that's her name? Well, yeah, she's playing the Little Mermaid. They show the teaser trailer. She's swimming. She starts singing, looking up at the at the sky. She wants to be on the land. You know that whole part. She's singing that part. What's up, big fool? And not for nothing, her singing sound just like what I remember was in the cartoon, if not a little better. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, this shit seems dope. I'm, I'm looking for Sebastian. I'm over here. Um, I'm over here looking for Sebastian. You know, I'm waiting for the you have to kiss the girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he's a big part of the movie. I don't see him. I see the I see the fish. You know, that's also in the movie and all that. So I'm like, all right, you know, it's a teaser trailer. All right, this looks good so far. Then I hear that. What's going on, Anthony? Then I hear that they got a million dislikes on the teaser trailer. And it's all because the lead actress is black. How, Sway? You mad that a fictional character mermaid is a black girl? What? What? 
Like, why is that a problem? She's not portrayed as a real person. What? You see, now I know this is this is the the tone of show show. Justin Hubert just fractured his rib cage. Jesus Christ. Is he gonna play? Well, it's a good thing he's not my quarterback. But is he gonna play or what? But um but yeah, this is the, I know it's the tone of show show, but we're gonna get into a little bit of wrestling here. This is why I think the wrestling community is a lot better than any other community that's out there because when someone of another race or another gender does something, we celebrate it because it's history and we all witness history. And But when someone of another race or another gender does something in a movie, <laughs> everyone gets pissed off when they do it in a TV show. Everyone gets pissed off when they do it you know, to be president or or <laughs> in a commercial, everyone gets pissed off just because they're a different race or gender. He's not going to go play. Damn. Whoever got him in fantasy, that's it. They done for. They better get a good quarterback. That's why I got a, I got a, a backup quarterback, you know, for the bye week when Lamar Jackson sits down. But yeah, I think everybody in my league got two quarterbacks, except for like one or two people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy though. He fractured his rib, bro. He should be out for what? Two two to four weeks? Is that the going rate? But yeah. So like I don't I don't get it, man. Like, what's the point? And then, you know, I'm hearing from other, you know, video creators, all the other content creators that people have the beef because she's a ginger and there's no representation representation for gingers. I'm like She's just a white girl. She's a white mermaid with red hair. You know, like, last time I checked, there's a bunch of redheads out in the movies. I don't understand, like, listen, man, it, this may sound like ignorance to y'all, but to me, I don't understand how hair color is getting into the, getting, getting involved with this shit now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just like, what's going on here? What's going on here? Why why is it perfectly acceptable to be even more racist and segregated now than ever? Back in the day, so many people wanted to end it. So many people. I remember looking at so many dumb people, you know, thinking that people were dumb, talking about, oh, I wanted to end racism. Willie with the resub. <laughs> Willie, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. But I don't, you know, I remember back in the day, everybody was like, yo, I want to end the hate and I want to unite everybody. And, and people were looking at them like, stupid. Like, come on, you ain't going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to die. And then now, it's like almost cool to be racist or say some racist shit or be a bigot. Like, whatever you want to classify this shit as, it's almost cool to be that shit. Like, what? Why is this? Who said that this was okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, this this isn't good. Like, you're segregating everyone based off of everything. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a fucking uh, a group of people that go, I only wear black socks. And now I'm a fucking, I'm a black sockian. And that's that's what I identify as. And we don't have black sockians in, in movies and pictures. And I want Captain America to be a black sockian too. I'm like what? So tags. They had the same reaction when they had a uh, Rachel Ziegler, who is half Puerto Rican, I believe, being announced as Snow White. They couldn't stand that Hispanic actress playing Snow White. Word, you know, like, what's the problem? Like, what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? Like, they like no. There was no outrage when Gamora wasn't. You know, like when when Zoe Zanetti played Gamora, right? No one turned around and said, how come you don't have a green woman playing Gamora? <laughs> it's like, what is the problem? It's a movie about a fictional character. The story is what's important. Now, I can understand if they turn around and said, yo, this isn't um, The Little Mermaid because you don't have this character or that character. Or the, product, the, prod, the, the, um, the plot is different or the songs are different. Like, yo. I'm not gonna lie, Aladdin and and uh, the Lion King was all over the place. Those live action movies, but it had nothing to do with the color of anybody's skin. My man Rakifi, 
uh, Rakifi, Rakifi, the 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 ape in the Lion King didn't have his part where he smacks him in the head and goes, "Now oh, why'd you do that? What does it matter? It's in the past. Yeah, but it still hurts. Yes, the past may hurt, but you have to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't in the movie. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't in the movie. But you know that's something to you know that's that's a legitimate argument because like we grew up with that that's an actual lesson to be learned and you didn't put it in there why is no one no one had a problem with with um the crab uh yeah just sebastian being from the island of caribbean you have a caribbean crab singing kiss the girl with the with the mermaid no one had a problem with that no one had a problem with any of the accents from the character outside of the mean character but now all of a sudden, when the mean character turn race, you have a problem. What's going on here? What's going on here? You know, to be honest with you, I'm going to keep talking like this. But to be honest with you, they should be proud that they got someone that can sing on the level of the character, of the of the actress who voiced her in the, in the cartoon. That's what we need to be focusing on. This is a cartoon with music, and it's probably going to be turned into a musical. Why won't you be celebrating? At least she can sing. Someone who can sing and act. You all of a sudden became Jamaican. Yes, man. Because the only thing I can be is Jamaican. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Get on up. It's bobsled time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know I'm not the only person waiting for Hocus Pocus 2 to come out in two weeks. It's coming out in two weeks? Yo, I know... I know Hocus Pocus was a big deal in Hocus Pocus 2, but I wasn't I wasn't someone that like I, I think if I watched Hocus Pocus one, I watched it once and I don't remember it that often. Like it that, that wasn't something that I was that I watched like that. But I know a lot of people are excited for the second part. It only took what, 30 years? <laughs> 30 years for part two to come out? Shit. But yeah, man, like, come on, man. You're not turning JFK like Forrest Whitaker isn't playing JFK, and if, even if even if he did at this point, like come on, wasn't we supposed to be raised to not see color? What happened to that? What happened to that? Like my elementary school graduation song was um, "Free Your Mind" and the rest will follow. Be colorblind. Don't need the, uh, don't need no, so you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, like, come on, people. It's, it's, that, it, it, where's, where's Lay at when we, when I'm over here talking about your fickle? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where's all that bullshit? Like, really? That's the best you got? There are people dying in the fucking streets. There's people that can't eat, that can't afford heat, you know, heat in the wintertime. Like, you know how many times... You hear in the news, at least in New York, like in one of the four boroughs, the Bronx or someplace that a fucking a project building's burning down because somebody put the heater on and it blew out one of the fuses and the electrical fucking caught fire because there was no heat in the building. But you're worried about this girl's color. You're worried about this girl's color. Like, really? You're worried about an inquisitor being black. You were you're worried about. <laughs> Fucking women taking over the MCU. Have we? Do you, do y'all not remember all of the cartoons back in the day? The one you're defending is being led by a woman. The Little Mermaid. The lead was a woman. Snow White. The lead was a woman. <laughs> you know, it tangled. The lead was a woman. Like, <laughs> what's going on here? Did we not forget this? Like, is this brand new to y'all? I don't understand. Getting the history of Hollywood whitewashing minority characters with white actors and actresses playing Asian, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is true. And and during the plays back in those times, the men played the women also. They put on blackface. They put on the big teeth for the for the Asians and all that other shit. The men played the women. They played the other races. They did all that other shit. But now all of a sudden. When they turn around and go, we have a character. We want you to be this character. Do your best job. No, she's black. Do you know how fucking 
the meaning that shit is? Do you, like, like in all honesty, like no one is giving a shit about this this woman, this actress having to hear this shit because I've heard shit before. Like, no, you can't do like you're too short. You're too overweight. You're too bold. Like you, you know, you're too Spanish or whatever. You know, like you're not dark enough, or you're not light enough, or you don't know Spanish, or you don't know this, or you can't do that, or I'm not gonna pick you because you look like you're slow and blah 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 blah. And and I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, I was growing with a lot of confidence, so I didn't give a fuck what anybody thinks. But you got the whole world telling this girl she can't play. A character she grew up with that that's that probably means more to her than the millions of people that dislike the fucking teaser trailer that she can't play that character because of the color of her skin i thought we got past that people died for that you know what i'm saying like there was a march in selma like a man got assassinated over the same shit y'all giving this woman for nothing now it's for nothing. Because you're saying she's not good enough to be this character because she's black. What? What? Yo. What? Is, you see? I don't understand. I, yo, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. And we can't even, like, we, at this point, we can't even solve it peacefully. Because the, the voice is so loud. No, the voice is so loud. They figured out a way to use social media to be hidden and be loud at the same time. Like in, in in all honesty, shit like that should be one of those. YouTube sees the people dislike it. They get wind of all of people disliking it because she's black. Everyone that disliked that video should be banned from YouTube. And I don't give a shit. They should be banned from YouTube. Because that's promoting racism. It's promoting hate. You know, I can understand if you don't if you didn't like the, the trailer for something else, but we know why a minute trailer you wouldn't like. We know. It's the, it it wasn't it was a song that was saying that everyone loves the fucking song. Everyone sang that song during their fucking their talent shows and all that other shit back in the day. It was a fucking song. There was no political lines, no nothing. And you dislike, we know why you disliked it. They should be banned. And Twitter should keep should keep an eye on that shit also. You're gonna sit here and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have trigger words. So I can't be in the YouTube chat. Telling somebody to go fuck themselves. And you're going to ban me for harsh language. But you're not going to ban people for open racism. You're going to ban Kenny on TikTok because my audio from my stream is going over to his stream. And I'm telling those people to shut up as a joke. Because cause I'm trying to make sense out of some stupidity that I said. But they don't get the context and they ban Kenny for that. But everybody that disliked the fucking the trailer for for Little Mermaid, that's fine. The the intentions were unclear. Come on, it, it, stupidity, bro! Like you cannot keep playing. You cannot keep blaming ignorance. We, if the whole world knows why a million people dislike that fucking video, you should know it too. And even if there's any hint, even if there's any hint of that shit. They should be gone. Sorry if somebody came with that with that shit on my channel, which it happened many a times. Somebody come in here saying some racist shit. They banned, bro. They banned. It's as simple as that. You know, like the Black Panther trailer made me cry, but we know, but we knew it was gonna be passed down to the sister. Yo, it's not a hundred percent confirmed that that's his sister. You know, it could be one of the damn what's the 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 Termalaje. It could be one of them. It's not a hundred percent confirmed that it's his sister. It could be his girl. 
that was the spy. But even though that was a skinny ass home and his sister had the skinny, you know, we we speculate here. We don't know if that's his sister that's being Black Panther yet. But yo, listen, I'm excited for that movie and that that trailer made me cry also. You know, it is we we suffered a huge loss with Chadwick Bowen. Yeah, I seen it. I seen it, but I'm you know. I'm keeping my options open, Anthony. I'm the type I don't like watching commercials. I don't like watching trailers. I want to be 100% surprised. So when I saw that, I was like, all right, I'm keeping my options open. It could be anybody. For all we know, that could be Mbaktu. Mbaktu could have, you know, <laughs> that, that suit could have just squeezed them up to, to tense, to tense his, his cells to make them stronger. We don't know. <laughs> it could be Mbaktu that had that skinny ass home. We don't know. <laughs> he probably lost weight during the quarantine. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Vibranium's a hell of a fucking metal. Hey, how you know that, that that don't make you, you know, lose? He probably took a pen uh, pen particle and shrunk his arm. You don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that that's that's something that that it's 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 to the point where it's almost like it's becoming normal. And it shouldn't be normal. It should not be it should not be accepted anywhere. You know, like I said, bro, it's not like it had a, like you can disagree with people's political views. You could disagree with people's opinions. How are you going to fucking sit there and, and dislike it because she's of a different color? Really? No one had a problem with West Side Story when they were Greek and Italians playing Puerto Ricans. You know? Like everyone loved into the Heights. Well, no, they love Ham. Wait, did they love Into the Heights? Yeah, it was Into the Heights. Yeah, everyone loved Into the Heights, but that was they, they the Heights is Dominican, but they were playing Puerto Ricans there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, no one, no one does all that shit for this. But but one girl, one girl, and it's it's a shit show. What about the, the ah, damn, I forgot the name um, since the black movie we've seen more black su superheroes now. Yo, but you know something, man? We've been having them. We've been having them. Blade was the first Marvel hero to have a movie. And he's black. And, you know, Blade, Blade been out for a while. Black Panther's been out for a while. They, I forgot the name of the, the superhero, the, was it the, the Blue Beetle? Not the Blue Beetle. And there's another superhero that was black, but he was covered. And when they, when the, the suit tore and everybody found out they were black, they didn't accept him. And he left. Shit, yo, there was, yo, we had more progression back in the day where, where there was actual racism. Where they were lynching people. And, and, and you, you had to be worried about what side of the street you was on and, and what, what water fountain you drank from. We had more, Inclusion then than we do now when everybody's free to do whatever the fuck they want. Like, that's crazy to me. Hey, like, how sway? These aren't new characters. They're not making new characters. The Fantastic Four had Fantastic Four Two had a black hero, but he wasn't black in the first one. Oh, you talking about the remake of the Fan Four Stick movie with uh, Michael B. Jordan? That was the third Fantastic Four movie, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. But the thing, but here's the thing though. Everybody was like, Johnny Stone's black. How are they gonna explain that? And they just did it and it was like, you know what? Yeah, well, to me, it was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's all right, cool. Now, if you if you change his whole fucking origin and shit, like, and it's like, all right, hold on, wait. This isn't the character we grew up with. Now, if they would have been like the Little Mermaid and she's in like, <laughs> she's in Harlem fucking singing about she don't want to be in the, <laughs> on land anymore. She wish she could get away. And then someone put a, a spell on her and turned her into a mermaid and threw her into the ocean. And now she's trying to get back to being a human. Like, all right, hold on, wait. This ain't the Little Mermaid. This is like, it could be inspired by the Little Mermaid, but this ain't the Little Mermaid. I get it. But you just had have a, a a female actress 
that you sing and you ridicule her because she's like what? and and I'm sorry I don't know what's going on here but when they had the Resident Evil show on Netflix the main character there was black but in the in the video games he's white and not too many people gave a shit. You know, so it's like you pick and choose. <laughs> you pick and choose who you fight for, huh? God forbid when you didn't have any other option back in the day. You change it now. Come on, bro. Come on. What's the next? You don't want to meet in your restaurants? Like, are we going back to segregation? Which, not for nothing. I don't know if you you guys know this, but during the segregation, when the blacks blacks had more, they owned more businesses. There was more black millionaires. They, you know, they they had it, the, the 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 financial gap wasn't that fucking different. I think that's why they ended segregation. To be honest with you, it was like, hold on, wait, these people are stepping up. They, they, they're raising each other up. No, 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 no. We we need another way to hold them down. Oh, let's include them now. Let's bring everything together. But what they do, they shut them down and they're like, yo, come over here on this side. Shut everything you've done down. Come on this side and be on the lower, be on the lower pole. You know? It, it, but it, I find it so funny, though. It's I don't find it funny. I find it very convenient how people, oh, I grew up, she was white. Why are you changing her? Yeah, well, you know, her grandparents is also um, had to worry about being lynched and and uh, hung because they went into an area where there was white people. You know, <laughs> they've been hoes. Rodney King got beat. <laughs> you know, I would do that. I got shot 87,000 times. L.A. rioted. Martin Luther King was assassinated so she could sit there and have the same opportunity as everyone else. But now a cartoon character who was drawn a certain color. That's the line that you can't cross. That's the line. It was a literal war. Two wars for our freedom. The Revolutionary War, right? Where we where we fought Britain and we got our independence from Britain. That's the Independence Day. And then the Civil War, where we ended slavery. Then there was a civil rights music a movement that made everyone equal. Because once they got their freedom, it's still not equal. Civil rights movement. Make everyone equal. How long ago was that? Uh, let's see. When was the civil rights movement? There you go. 1954 to 1968. So let's say it ended in 1968. Uh, let's see. 70. Was that 50? Let's see. 54 years ago. For 54 years, we had a civil rights movement where people were supposed to be able to be free and have the same rights as everyone else. But God damn it, you still can't play a character that was drawn. God damn it, you can't. You don't, don't, don't play that character that was drawn by somebody. Mm -mm. No, no. <laughs> we not, we're not going to accept you. Like, what's like, does that sound like you tell me if I'm bugging, but does that sound like any kind of maturity there? Like, come on, man. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I was taught the wrong way when I was growing up. But that don't sound right to me. You know, that we had wars to fight for our freedom, so I have the, the right to say this. But don't play a character that was drawn. Don't do that. Don't take away from us. Who's taking away anything? This is adding to it. 
They're not burning all of the original fucking cartoons. What are your opinions on Marvel making No More and Atlantis have influences from Aztec and Mayan empires? Yo, so we, we spoke about that during the reaction to the Wakanda Forever trailer. And Cap bring up a good point that the directors was on some... Well, so Atlantis was the, the, the lost city of gold... And they were saying that that could have been the Mayans and the Aztecs. Like, it was a Mexico. It could have been in Mexico, right? So, it would only be natural that there would be, like, Mexican warriors in that city. So, hearing that, and it's like, you know, and also, to be honest with you, Atlantis, it would have been any, any rate, but it makes sense. You got the Aztecs and the Mayan empires, and that influence there. Down there, it kind of makes sense. It, I like it. El Dorado, yeah. I like it, bro. To be honest with you, it's fucking dope to have so many different cultures. Like, when you, when you eat, do you eat the same thing over and over again? Like, I'm watching, we're watching a series of movies when it comes to the MCU. And we want everything to be like, what's going on, show? What's going on, show? What's up, brother? Chilling, man. I'm talking about uh, how everybody's having a problem with the um, Ronis playing uh, as a uh, um, Little Mermaid. But we're also talking about Marvel right now. There. Yo, so we had years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it shows all the heroes. But the one thing about Marvel and DC and all that is they're heroes all around the world. What's going on, RKH? And to see uh, superhumans that are Hispanic and African American and Asian and white and, you know, um, Middle Eastern and all you know, every other race, the Russians got one. Like every other race is dope because now this is a worldwide thing. This is a global thing here. Everyone is brought to the party. You feel me? Like when you went to public school, majority of the public schools in the inner cities was black and Hispanic, but we also had some Asians, some whites, some Russians. You know, like we was all mixed to begin with. What's the problem? Right, show? Right, show. I do. What's the problem? Word. Roman Reigns got PWI number one rest of the year. He deserves it. He did. He did a hell of a job this year. Do you guys think that uh, they're going to bring in Miles Morales? Is that a new variant? What? That. P W I. Oh, you need this. Uh, well, that's Pro Wrestling Insider. Anytime. So, so it's Pro Wrestling Insider. That's uh, it's been a while for a while. It's been around for a while, and they always had like uh, wrestlers of the year and all other shit. It's just you know, since you're into the into the business now, you you get to see more of this shit. Do you guys think they're going to bring Miles Morales in live action, maybe as a replacement for Peter Parker in the MCU, maybe for the Young Avengers movie? Well, they set him up. They they set up Miles Morales. With, they, they showed his uncle in um, Homecoming. That was the one that Peter shot the web on the trunk. That was his uncle. So they set him up for the MCU. And I, I think they'll bring him in. I definitely think they'll bring him in in the future. Uh, I think the corporate media portrays that people are more divided than they actually are. True. And they shouldn't. Like, they shouldn't be publicized. Like, they shouldn't be condoning this shit. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't be condoning the bullshit that, that's going on. What's my top three Marvel movies? Shit. Infinity War. 
I mean, uh, Endgame. Um, damn, hold on. That, that, that's uh, all right. So, Endgame, Guardians of the Galaxy one, and. Shit, man. You muted, show. Uh, what's up, blue cheese? Fuck. Captain America Winter Soldier. Yeah, so, Endgame, Gardens of the Galaxy 1, and uh, Winter Soldier. There you go, show. So what was you saying? No, oh, you gotta readjust his head to what's going on, Tony Show. What, what up, Blue Cheese? It's been a minute, man. Welcome. How dare you not put the new Spider Man movie up there? Yo, I, you know something? When I first saw it, I liked it. It was one of those like, yo, this shit's dope. And I saw it again, and don't get me wrong, it's not it's not a bad movie by any by any means, but there's something about it. It's not the perfect movie. And I think Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 was a very good fucking movie. When, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can invest in every character. They had, like, they had comedy in it, but it was serious, serious tone. You know, I rewatched Guardians of the Galaxy a few times. And I'm like, yo, I still like, the more I watch it, the more I like it. You know, and there's a personal connection with me and Peter Quill when he lost his mom, I lost my mom. You know, it's one of those. But the Spider-Man No Way Home is a good movie. It is. And it's just something, there's something missing there. It's like, it's like the Batman movie. When I first saw it, I was like, yo, this is a good Batman. We finally got Batman. Then I watched it again. I was like, hold on, wait. This isn't Batman. This is just some fucking guy standing around. You know what I'm saying? It's the, the rewatch value is what I what I judge shit on. You know what I'm saying? And and Endgame, I watched like eight nine times. Endgame is a fucking almost perfect movie. And Winter Soldier, I watched that a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's a toss up between Winter Soldier and Civil War. You know what I'm saying? It's so many movies to give you a top three. I know my top two, Guardians and Endgame. Number one, Winter Soldier. Number two, Endgame. Number three, Homecoming. I get it. You know, I get it. It was dope to see the other two Spider-Men, Tobey Maguire and... Uh... You got to forgive me. Names always Andrew Garfunkel. Names always fucked up my my whole thought process. I was like I said earlier, I was in McDonald's and the girl's like, You want anything else? And I was like, Yeah, I need the slushy. But I told her like, yo, I don't know how to speak all of a sudden. And I was like, I want that strawberry thing with the ice. And she goes, The slushy? I was like, There you go. <laughs> That's what I need right there. Uh, so So that's why I was like, you know what? Yeah, I think it's because either I don't sleep or it's just I got too much shit on my on my mind to, you know, be just winging it. I was going to look up something. I don't know what I was going to look up. Like, I, I just opened up a new tab to look up some shit and I didn't. Oh, there you go. All right. Stupid. Um. All right, what's going on? Here? A Winter Soldier was my best because it had more action, hand to hand action. Yeah, yo, it was dope to see the Winter Soldier fight Cap. It was like almost an even battle, and Winter Soldier was a badass dude. Like that was one of the first strong 
actual bad guys that could fight you. You know, like Loki was a strong thinking bad guy. You know, he you know he played his role. Uh, Baron Zemo actually defeated the Avengers. Thanos was another strong bad guy that could go hand to hand with you. But uh, you know, a lot of the the bad guys in these movies, they were like, wah, wah, especially in the Thor ones. You know what I'm saying? But when a soldier, you know, he really represented, and look what he became. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really enjoy the, the, the progression of the Winter Soldier and Falcon. And, yo, the best part, well, one of the things that always stuck was uh, the on your left. When Cap was running the laps around <laughs> Sam, and he's like, on your left, on your left, don't you say it, don't you say it. And then in Endgame, he's about to, like, give, like, he's like, all right. This is it. Do or die, baby. You're going to have to kill me. This is my last. This is the last fight. And then the portals open up. Yo, Cap. On your left. Bro, broke down. Broke down in tears. Broke like, every time. Breaking down in tears. Like, he's like, got him. He's on his left. He's got the backup. He's going to do this. You know what I'm saying? That was the best part of waking up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I get it, though. When a Soldier was an iconic movie. That was one of the movies that was like, this shit is serious. This shit got serious. I think this one got serious. Yep. This got real serious here. Shit, man. So what's your favorite part of Home... Wait, you said Homecoming or No Way Home? Cause you over here talking about the last, the new Spider Man movie, but the new Spider Man movie ain't Homecoming. Homecoming was the first one, and that one was pretty good. That yeah, that one was good. Like I like I like this dude Tom Holland as Spider Man. I really do like him as Spider Man and Peter Parker. But. It, it, it was so rushed. Like, don't get me wrong. I loved all the movies. But, you know, thinking back about it is like we got his origin split up into three movies. And now if they ever do another one, now it's like, all right, we're going to get the real the real Spider-Man, the one that no one knows is Peter Parker. He's struggling. He's probably going to be selling pictures. He has to take his GED to get into college. You know, and. It's saying. Get this, Norman Osborn in his world might be black and he might not be running Oscorp. He might be running another another business that's not named the Oscorp. What's going to happen then? Is everybody going to shut down Marvel because Norman Osborn is black? You know, Nick Fury wasn't always black, but they, trained, they changed him to suit Samuel Jackson because they wanted him to play Nick Fury in the movies. You know? Is it the women? Is that is that what it is? <laughs> they, they don't want to change the women. Sorry, the new Spider Man. I like the fight scene with Spider Man versus the Green Goblin. That was epic. That was, that was one of those. Yo, we finally we're finally seeing the true potential of actual Spider Man. Because you know how, how they hold back. It's like they're just there to detain. They're not really there. But he was about to end go the Green Goblin if it wasn't for Tobey Maguire. And I like how. Like Andrew was sitting there going, yo, I don't know where I am. Like, I'm I'm really just here. Just like I don't know what's going on here. But Toby was on some I have a sense that I need to go save your 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 Spider Man. I need to go help him. Like he had the the Spidey sense for, for that Spider Man. That was dope. You know, because he can sense something was wrong. And he was kind of like the older brother out of all the Spider-Men. So if somebody can sense that you, you're not who you are, usually it's the older sibling or the, the, the parent, you know? So that was dope. What else happened? I'm trying to figure out what else happened this week that we could talk about <laughs> before we turn this into a comic book show. Speaking of comics, what's what's some stuff that you want to hear us talk about, Anthony? 
Since you're the one participating the most, both of y'all. I see both of y'all. What's some what's some topics in, in the comic world that you want to hear us talk about, that you want to learn about or you want to discuss? It'd be dope to see Miles Morales in the MCU, to be honest with you. Are any of you guys Star Wars fans? Because we got Ando coming up next. Brett Favre stealing money. I heard about that. I don't know the whole gist of it, but I heard that Brett Favre was stealing money. He was stealing money from what? Indianapolis or Louisiana or some shit? Former Governor Phil Bryan helped Brett Favre secure welfare funding for... So, Brett Favre and welfare misuse in Mississippi. Hold up. How Brett Favre and the state of Mississippi trapped the volleyball stadium in the culture of poverty. What? What? Hall of of Fame player Brett Favre is in the news for having allegedly used welfare money to build a volleyball stadium for his daughter in Mississippi. What? Wow. He used welfare money to to build a stadium for his daughter. All right, uh, Stagger went on to corporate with an NFL investigation into the matter and voucher and vouched for the authenticity of the image throughout the. All uh, right, the league concluded that it could not determine whether Farb has sent them but find him $50,000 for not cooperating with this. Wait, what, what's going on here? Uh, so my man is taking money, huh? I was never a Star Wars fan. I'm more Harry Potter. You know, I understand that. I wasn't really a Star Wars fan either, but what really got me interested into the Star Wars was um, the Clone Wars, the, the cartoon series that, that was... It's on Disney Plus if you have it. It's a good watch. The The Clone Wars TV series is a good watch. I was telling Kaz about it. And, you know, watching that, and that's a prequel to 1, 2, and 3. Well, it's not a prequel. It's like it's happening... Between two and three. And you get to see Anakin grow. And then you get to see Ahsoka Tana, which is his Padawan, which is going to have a show on Disney Plus pretty soon. I think they're filming it now. You get to see her grow and then you get to see Vader and and, you know, and all that other stuff. And those cards like his relationship with the clones. And it's dope. Like it, it opens up the eyes of a Star Wars of anybody who really watches it, it opens up the eyes to that part, you know, that lore. And, um, and, uh, then it made me go, you know what, man, let me see the other, like, now that I see the story, let me watch them. So I watched all the Star Wars movies from one to the last one, and I was able to tell, like, okay, I can see Anakin turning, I can see this, that, I can see what's going on here, like, Darth Maul was dope, and then you get the, you get to see like what's going on here and why Obi Wan was the way he was and why um, Qui Gon is the way he is and how you, how badass Yoda is. And you get to hear like yo, there's books and comics and everything that's in the in between. And it, there was actually a Jedi that was that him and his boy turned into Sith lords, and they were so bad that Sith lords and Jedi's had to fight them. And one of them, they actually erased their memory and made him a Jedi again. And then he killed his other boy, but then his brain fractured. So he's half Sith, half Jedi. Right? <laughs> so it's like, it's crazy how that shit happened. But there was some bad motherfuckers, though. And then there was a a Jedi that was so obsessed with power that he was taking power from the dark side. But he wasn't a Sith. Like, he didn't go into the dark side. He was just taking power from anywhere he wanted. And he corrupted his own lightsaber that when another person touched his lightsaber, it drew them to the dark side. And there's a, there's a 
a Yoda species. It's a female Yoda that's so can like so you have the light side and the dark side, and then most people are here, right? They're either in the middle or more towards one side than the other. Yoda's female thing was more towards the light side. She's like as close as possible to it. So when she touches, she doesn't really get corrupted and all that. So she could stop that. And it's fucking dope to see like the powers that everybody has. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like this. There was one like before they had the rule of two with the Sith, where you had a master and apprentice, and that was it. Um, there was one guy that was he was in the dark and all he wanted was power. And he went to the planet where all the Siths were and killed all the Siths to get their power. And then they were like revolted and blah, blah, blah. And like when he got, when he did it, he made the law because he was like the king of the Siths. And he made the law. There's only power to the, the master and the apprentice. And it was, it's crazy. It was for Louis, Louisville is beating Florida State 21 to 14. Damn. You know, I never, well, it's not, it, it shouldn't be a surprise that. I didn't never got into college football, but I have seen a couple of games and it can be more exciting than the NFL, but now Florida state's the one with the alligator. Cause then you have, um, was it Florida university? That's the hurricanes. That's the one with the U that's the one that the rock was in. Oh, my bugging. Is Notre Dame still good? Because I remember watching Rudy, and that was when Notre Dame was one of the best football uh, college football teams. I don't know if they're still good or not. So anyway, what I was getting at with uh, Star Wars, I got into Lord of the Rings from the Two Towers or the Twin Towers. What's the Star Wars when they had the big race? That's That's part one. Because that was when Anakin Skywalker was doing the the race. And if he won the race, he got his freedom. And uh, then they couldn't free his moms. Notre Dame is 0-2 this season. Oh, damn. They starting off bad, huh? Yeah. So there's, all right, so there's a TV show called Andor that starts next week. And it's a three-episode it's a three episode premiere. And that one is... If you ever see, heard of the movie Rogue One... In episode six. Is it six? Yeah, they had the Star Destroyer in episode six. And they got the plans to destroy the 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 the, the um Star Destroyer, which is that big planet thing that shoots and destroys planets in one shot. They got the plans to destroy it. From this group of rogue rogue agents that went on this planet and sacrificed their lives to get the the planes and sent it to the to the resistance, so Rogue One was the movie about that mission in that mission was Andor he was one of the 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 pilots he was like one of the spies that got the information of the plans. This show is about his story, and fun fact he's Spanish. So this is one of the the first like Spanish led you know Star Wars shows. You know we we got a I forgot his fucking name. What's his name Benjamin? Hold up, I gotta I gotta look this shit up because you know you know me I'm bad with names, but yeah we got one of them. Yeah, but it's it's pretty dope to. It's dope to to see, you know, where everybody fucking gets to. My bad. What's going on, Krills? Tell him, bro. Excited. I just got four guys on my Switch. Nice, nice. I'm I'm, I'm over here trying to talk to these dudes about Star Wars. Like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, I completely forgot. I completely forgot this fucking guy's name. The Spanish dude. Uh, but yeah, so it's dope that we got another Spanish lead actor in the Star Wars TV show, and it's dope. And I was I was talking about the the Little Mermaid earlier. Oh, nice! Yeah, the fish. 
Right? Yeah, yeah. The, well, that's the, mammal. She's a mammal or fish. She's. You know what the crazy shit is? Mermaids are based off of the the legend of the sirens. You remember what the sirens were? Yeah, those three girls. Yeah, that's that sang that's on the sang. rock. Yeah, yeah. And lowered all the, the, the boats into the rock so they can destroy them and sink. Yep. That's what the sirens were. Yeah. I don't think the, the sailors were going, oh, look at the, do you hear the voices of yeah. these beautiful, uh, these beautiful I voices? I didn't think they were trying to beat a fish. Yeah, no, they, they were. <laughs> like, because yeah. cause the, the, the legend is that their voice was so, so like soothing and powerful, it, it mesmerized men and they just oh, went okay. in there. So it, it's like it's it's not like they turn around like oh well that one's black so let me just turn <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, like okay. it's it's still a fucking fish like they live in the ocean you would assume that their skin would be waterlogged and shit <laughs> you know they had scales you know <laughs> you know you know I, I want to you know I want to see the people who have fins for legs you know get mad. <laughs> Because they had a human play a, a, a fucking mermaid and not, and not a fin foot person. I don't know, man. Just people are crazy. That's what it boils down to. Yeah. People are insane. People don't know what they want. People are just people. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I'm lit right now. Give me one second. Jimmy Smith. That motherfucker. He's the guy I was trying to talk about. He's one of the, the 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 Spanish people that we have in Star Wars, but now we got another one. All right, my bad. I qualified. Um, people people stupid, bro. Yeah, man. And have me on record saying have me on record saying that people are stupid. Oh yeah, they're really stupid. You know, I don't understand. This is the this is the thing I don't understand. It's like they'll be the first ones to say like how. The military died for our freedom and our right to to, to to free you know free speech and all the other shit, right? And they'll praise the military. But they completely forget about the other two wars that we had and everybody sacrificing their lives for equality. Like they don't respect the people that stood up in that time of <laughs> of, of segregation and, and when they were lesser people to be free and to be equal. That's not recognized here. When we fight the Japs and the Germans, that's what's recognized. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we recognize. We don't recognize you fighting us for freedom and for equality. You're asking for too much now. All I know, I forgot what I was going to say. Happens to me all the time. That's what I do know. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what I do know. That I forgot <laughs> what I was just about to tell you. Like well, you said something, I was like bingo, and I went to like quit the game. I looked back up. I said, "Oh shit, I'm on air." Uh, well, I when, I, when I said how we fought wars for freedom or people sacrificed right, for equality, right, right. Like th these people today are like a disappointment. Like our ancestors are looking down on us crying like what happened where's the fight that we tried to lead uh we should have been better by now like oh my god like the 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 enemy got us again like we was on the yep. tipping point of pushing things forward and then uh the the fight fell you know they took out our leaders so everyone just fell they could they're gonna continue doing that of course but yep the fight, man. There's no fight. There's no fight. People are scared and people don't care yeah, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I asked someone today, I was like, is racism cool now or is it just accepted? Because I'm I'm like I'm on the fence where it's like I don't know where it stands because you know how everything is is trending now. So it seems like the racism and the bigotry is like cool. Like it's cool to be racist and say, Oh, well, she's she shouldn't be this because she's black. A cart she shouldn't be a cartoon character because she's black. Like, how are they gonna feel when they do a live action Goofy movie? Like, are they gonna be like, you didn't get a dog to play Goofy? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, our morals are off. Yeah, like, everything is off. Everything is off, bro. Yeah, as a unit, individually, everyone like. Uh, I'm not gonna say that word, but. Everybody's up to date. 
individually but once we turn into people as a whole it hit it just goes south like yeah no it, uh, it makes sense it makes sense i don't know this man. is this is this is why i say We're in trouble. is it cool to be racist because because i'm pretty sure well all right i said that once YouTube got wind of the fact that a million people disliked it because she was black, they should have banned everybody that disliked the video. Just on some right, front of, I, we're, not, we're not supporting this shit. Right. Where's the fight or where's the protection for their decision? Yeah. Like, we have to stop letting these usernames online dictate what we do or what goes on. Since, yeah. since when that, it's, ever, it's never been a thing. Not that I remember. Well, at least I, I I wasn't aware or wasn't a part of, but no, oh, yeah. It's like wow, the social media is getting too powerful, man. It is. It's getting out of hand. It it's is. about to get out of hand if it's not already, but it's trending upward yeah. <laughs> towards it. Like the only it's time so I've ever seen up, bro. The, the only time I've ever seen the uproar in social media actually do something That's that was beneficial crazy. is when they redesigned Sonic. To look like Sonic. Right. And that was the right thing to do. Yeah. That was the... I stood by that. I think yeah. I signed the petition online that was going yeah. around. I signed for that. It's it's not like we turned around and said, no, no, no. Don't get a black guy to voice Sonic. We just said, that doesn't look like Sonic. If you're going <laughs> to... If you're going to give us Sonic, make it look like Sonic. He goes a reference right. of what he looks like, just in case if you've never seen Sonic before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Optimus Prime has a look. You can't just make him fucking Johnny Five from, from you know. Ten from, by Ariel, Ariel was light skinned though, man. Yeah, light skinned. Or some people argue ten. Yeah, <laughs> I like ten. Yeah, but it was a cartoon. Yeah, you but know, Sonic, Sonic. I don't know, bro. Because with Sonic, it was cosmetics it wasn't color yeah yeah it was like yo your the eyes are wrong yeah everything like there's nothing wrong. about this is recognizable like the only thing this. let me see this yeah, the, look at this the only thing that's that this girl is doing wrong is the color of her skin and i'm saying you know how fucking the meaning that shit has to be for her like I mean, i'm I sorry honey you can't it. play you can't play the little mermaid you can't play a cartoon character because of your color of your skin. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? She looks good as the Little Mermaid, though. You know what I'm saying? She does look. She does look good. I could yeah. understand if it was that, and she doesn't look nothing like Little Mermaid. Yeah, would look like it's a if you fucking if you got precious reach. to play Little Mermaid. I get it. Right. If you was to get someone out of pocket to play Little Mermaid. Yeah. And on top of that, you make her the opposite color of the cartoon version of Little Mermaid. Now I could see the uproar. But me looking at this picture as in front of my face, she looks fucking phenomenal as Little. She looks good. Not yeah. to say I'm pro that skin color. This has nothing to do with skin. Like, she looks good as Little Mermaid. Yeah face like she just looks like you know a good mermaid not to say she's the only one that might look good in the looking like little mermaid but it's not and bad she, and she could sing too and that's a plus yeah and you so, know and you know you know what i don't understand this was back in the day that it was a cartoon everyone in the cartoons were Anthony. everyone in the cartoons were white or gray you ever notice that mm-hmm Cause even the 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 was it what is her name the bad girl in in mermaid like the the old Ursula Ursula she was gray yeah you, you know what I'm saying like the goofy movies like they were everyone in there that wasn't a fucking dog was white light skinned they didn't have many different tones of colors they all had one tone of color all right, let me see little mermaid now shade of dog. <laughs> In that in that fucking movie, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, all of them same color, same color palette. The only colored cartoon that we got was Shrek, and that was green. And even Donkey was was gray. 
And then when he turned into the stallion, yo, get this shit. When he turned into the stallion, you know what color the stallion was? White. Mm. When Donkey turned into the stallion, he went from gray to white. You know, they, Damn. They, they, they can be some liberties. They can, it's a cartoon. There can be some liberties. You know, they, like they also got mad when uh, Anthony was telling me they also got mad when there was a woman when there was a woman playing Snow White and she's half Puerto Rican. I'm looking I'm at pictures. To... I'm sorry. I'm so uh, I'm doing a little investigation right now. Yeah. Yeah, they had the same reaction when they had uh, Rachel Zeigler. Wait, I don't Puerto know, Rican, bro. I believe being announced as Snow White, they couldn't stand that Hispanic actress playing Snow White. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, it's not. I don't know, bro. I yo, I gotta be, I gotta be honest, bro. Oh, bro, I gotta be real, man. <laughs> I'm looking it's, at pictures. It's a problem. Like, I can see where they're coming from. Uh, definitely, I can see where they're coming from. But my thing is, is not bad. Like, leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right. Like, Krills, you know, what was in the Lion King cartoon? Right. What was one of the most impactful scenes besides his father dying? Uh, uh, Kuna Matata. Well, <laughs> don't don't uh, worry. Yeah, yeah. For, when Simba pretty, came back. When Simba in your, came back. In your, I, I'm pretty sure in your head is like, fuck, I don't remember the Lion King. And for me, no. it was when, when the ape Rakifi. Knocked oh, him in the head with the stick. Right, right, right. And he goes, Oh, that hurt. Why'd you do that? It doesn't matter. It happened in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't happen in the live action movie. That scene did not happen in the live action movie. To me, that's more of a travesty yeah, yeah, yeah. than whatever color you did want to show make the, the part film. when he was talking to his father in the river. No. Remember I don't, believe, I don't think reflection. Yeah, and his father came out in the clouds. And his father came out from the clouds yeah, yeah, right yeah. after that. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. That was another one. Yeah. Yeah. So he's talking to him. I think that was after he took. I don't even was... think. I don't even think they had Rakifi fight in that movie. Because you know he was whipping that ass when he picked up the stick. Yeah. That's a travesty to me. That's one of those. Hold on, wait. We, we grew up on this cartoon. You, you leaving shit out. <laughs> you leaving shit out here. There's like, a theory out there that, speaking of Lion King, um, there's a theory out there that uh, Mufasa was eaten by Scar. Could have been, right? Because I'll explain, of course. When they when Mufasa got thrown off, yeah, Scar was like, ah, they didn't, they never showed his body after that. Yeah, something happened to his body. Later on in the movie, no, no. they sh they showed his body. Well, he wait, got wait, Simba he was dead. Dead. Wake yeah, up, right? yeah, yeah. They didn't show right. what happened after that. Like they never right. did a funeral. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, let me clarify. Good clarification. Thank you. Yeah, I missed yeah, that. No, yeah. Yes. So after that, uh, Mufasa was chilling, whatever, and he was flexing, like whatever. Now that Mufasa, Mufasa's out the way, and he was playing with a skull. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, someone looked up like what happens to lions after they die. You know what I mean? Hy hyenas don't eat lions or whatever. Uh, some other animals don't, but lions eat lions, right? So it it's I'll show you the video if I can find it. <laughs> but it kind of it's kind of dope, like where they were going with it. And then there's a scene with uh, Scar talking, like making a puppet out of a skull. Yeah. So if you Google a lion skull, it looks just like the skull he was mimicking, like. Talking with wow, and, it, and yeah, it has the same shape and everything a lion skull. And then, in and that's the scene where the pa the parrot, what's his name? Uh, the parrot was locked behind a, 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 a rib, cage, a cage, and it was made yeah, out yeah, of yeah. ribs. And that was yeah. that's supposed to be Mufasa, and like Scar ate him up or whatever. Yeah, you know, what's like, crazy? that was that Mufasa, makes sense. son. Yeah, it looks it was so dope when I saw it. I said, Oh, like they killed it. I think it's true. And no one knows that. That's crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Yo, that's kind of like when you, you found out Simba 
was trying to wake up dad. Then the hyenas yes. came and started chasing him. And then yes. after that, Mufasa. Yeah, the body's no not about found. the body. Yeah, yeah no one talks about it. was no it. ceremony or nothing. No he just ran away. Cover it. Yep. He disappeared. Yeah. And then. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's That's crazy. crazy. Right? <laughs> that was, yo, that was. ate up, bro. That was like when, remember when we found out that in the Wizard of Oz, when they went to go. They were sent to go kill the the witch, and then we saw the picture of the Tin Man with the handgun. Yes, <laughs> it was that's that's kind of like that. It's like, oh wait, wait a minute, when did this happen? My man had a revolver in his his fucking hand to go kill yeah, his it, witch. It's huge. Uh, Scar ate Mufasa theory. <laughs> wow, but you yeah. know something? It makes sense. It makes sense. It, it makes perfect sense. It's so dope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hyenas yeah, don't eat lions? Yeah, they say hyenas don't eat lions. It sounds crazy to me. I don't believe that. A pack of hungry hyenas won't eat a lion? Don't they always beef? Yeah, there's videos on it. You can YouTube this. 16 minute long. <laughs> Okay, here you go, here you go. The most interesting shit. Hi- hyenas, on the other hand, often kill baby lions. These predators hunt lions and eat lion cubs both to show dominance and to simply have some food on their table. Adult lions are tougher to kill for hyenas since they can easily be out- overpowered and they can overpower an entire pack. So they're, they're most known for eating the cubs. Yeah, okay. But still, even with a... No, but they're known to eat dead lions. Yeah. Yeah, Mufasa was down and out, or maybe he wasn't. He was just unconscious. Simba thought he was dead. Hyenas came, scared him off, and then Scar did the rest. Yeah. They probably all feasted on him. Yeah. Because they wasn't they fighting over a bone? Remember that? In that same scene, if I'm not mistaken, didn't uh, Scar throw the bone at him? And they were like, and they were trying to fight each other over the bone. I think so. It rings a bell. When his father died, that was a black versus white thing. (laughs) (laughs) It was the black hair versus the the beige hair. The blonde, yeah. The brunette versus the blonde. This game doesn't want to fucking start, bro. What you got, uh, Call of Duty? Nah, I'm thinking about getting a new one. I don't know, man. Is that gonna be free also for the most for the the the, the battle royale? Yeah. Like how? But in order to upgrade your guns faster, yeah. you would need a new Call of Duty. But you can still upgrade them regular. Yeah. Just playing with them, you know. I, yo, I haven't played Call of Duty in a minute. Oh, I can't wait, bro. After this, I'm probably hop on for some games. A little bit, yeah. I might I have, been, the, I haven't been gaming lately as much either. Yeah, I probably have the updated. Was there an update recently? Probably, it's always a fucking update with Fortnite. It's always an update. Yeah, you hear that? Yep, there's an update. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's fucking like it's it's arguing with itself. Who your cat. Like, yeah. Oh, you hear him? I don't hear shit. I heard, Damn, I heard my fault, brother. No, no, it only happened twice. Uh, when you was like, you hear that? Yeah. Fucking. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it was a small update. Shit, I got the TV now. I don't even have that monitor, so I'm... 60 hertz is all I'm playing, but at least it'd be in 4K. I'll be able to see shit now. That was my beef with the other one. It's like, yeah, I'm playing at 150 hertz. <laughs> but 150 frames per second. But I can't see what's going on. <laughs> it's just so grainy. Yo, where the fuck? Give me a second, guys. I'm so sorry. But yeah, it's a cool theory, man. Uh, hopefully one. Yeah. You guys can talk about it on the comics. Like, let the guys know and inform them. Watch the videos, and just yeah, talk yeah. on it. that. Shit is so cool. They break it down. Yo, there's a theory that uh, 
You ever see, dude? I ordered McDonald's today. I went into the store. I ordered McDonald's, and I told the girls like, "Yo, listen, let me get a ten piece, a large ten piece with an extra twenty piece on the side." And she looked at me like, "What?" And I was like, "Yo, I don't understand. What don't you understand? Like, did I break it? Did I order too many chicken nuggets for you? Like, what happened? Did I freeze your machine? Am I not allowed to order more than ten nuggets?" And she's like, "Oh no, I gave you a medium." Coke with your large meal, and now I don't know how to change it. I said, how do you even have the option to give me anything smaller than a large when you put a large meal in? Anyway, besides all that shit happened, she goes, you want anything else? And my pops always gets the slushy. So I'm like, yeah, let me get the strawberry slushy. But in my head, I was like, yo, let me get that um the red frozen drink you got. I told her, I was like, for some reason, I don't know how to speak anymore. So I need the red frozen shit. She goes, the slushy? I said, there you go. I need one of those. <laughs> was it working? What? Was the machine working? For your yeah. Slushy? Oh, yeah. The slushies work. The ice cream doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the ice creams fuck off. <laughs> okay. But... But yeah, the, um, and so all day I've been having problems fucking trying to remember shit. Me too. I don't it's know what's there. going on. It's getting there. Definitely getting there. Like I almost just forgot how, like I was about to tell you something and I forgot. The Mystery Ink kids from Scooby-Doo are avoiding being drafted into the war by driving to Canada. No word, Price. Was she cute? Wait. Wait, what? What did what what war? Scooby Doo was at war? Wait, the girl at McDonald's? You talking about if she was cute? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Dick. Not like yeah. super like, she wasn't a tank, but she was one of those like, okay. You ain't afraid to eat something. Mm. Yeah, it's like got yeah. no limits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, all right. What up, you shorty? Could, you, could, you could push past your limits, huh? Yeah, yeah. She was like, your height. Got some meat on her bones. Mm. I was like, all right, all right. Mm. Fuck like, you don't even know I bench. Like, fuck out of here, dude. Mm. <laughs> hey, where you going? Nice. She was cute, so you were speechless. Yo, listen to this shit, Anthony. So, I, I, there's a girl at my job. You know her, Krills, uh, your highness. Uh, right, yeah, I, I always, I always mention her when when it comes to shit like this, right? So every time I go to the mezzanine, I I don't often bump into her, but when I do, she's like, "Oh, you didn't bring me nothing." So today I anticipated bumping into her, so I was ready to go when she was like, "Oh, you didn't bring me nothing." I was gonna give her my mask and like, "Here, it's a symbol of how you always take my breath away." You know what I'm saying? Hey, right. it's some smooth shit. Guess what happened? I didn't bump into didn't her. bump into her. So next time I bump into her, I'm going to completely forget that <laughs> fucking line. <laughs> and it's going to fuck up the whole mojo. <laughs> so if you want price, you can use that. That one's for you. <laughs> okay, I'll use that one. <laughs> Take my breath away. Take my oh. breath away. Ding, ding. <laughs> Yo, ding, Chris. Ding, ding, ding. Do you, Yo. do you remember the movie Con Air? No. I won't lie to you, I don't. With with uh Nicolas Cage Nicolas where he's Cage, on the yep. he's on the the plane with the with um oh, I'm gonna fucking he's a jail bird. Yeah, he was in jail. Him. Yeah, he was in jail. He was being released that day, but the cons the the convicts took over the plane that was transporting him. And um what is this fucking guy's name? Mikovic? Makovic? Brian Mak- John Makovic? Is it Makovic? Yeah. He's John Makovic. I think I think that's his name. I think let me just double check. I'm gonna fucking beat I'm gonna beat the shit out of somebody just, just for the fuck of it. Yeah, John Makovic. There you go. He's the main guy, Cyrus the Virus. Yes. And so, you know, do you remember the line where he had the bunny in his hand? He's reading the letters like, my daddy gets out of jail today and my daddy's going to see me for the first time. And I haven't seen my daddy in eight years and my daddy. And he goes, one more move and the bunny gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, it's a phenomenal fucking movie. I gotta watch see. it again. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's I classic. Watch it again. Classic. Yo, say it to late. He'll know exactly what you're talking about. So at the end of the movie, 
everyone starts crying because the little girl finally meets her daddy and you know he, he got the bunny and all that but in the background you got the song how do i live without you <laughs> yesterday while me and Gigi were talking no no before Gigi gets on while me and show was talking Show muted himself every time Show unmuted himself to speak. In the background, all you hear is, How do I live without you? His wife was playing the song and I couldn't help it. I cut him off and just to listen to the song. <laughs> and we That's were singing the funny. song on the wrestling podcast yesterday. <laughs> Dude, that is I, funny. Yeah, like there's like two parts in in the podcast last night. Just how do I ever ever survive? <laughs> <laughs> how do I? Oh, how do I live? <laughs> like, yo, yo, dude. clutch, damn, yeah, that's man, funny. that's funny shit. <laughs> that shit. was yeah, that was that was classic shit right there. Is it clipped? No, but it it is recorded though, so I gotta find I gotta find that spot and clip that shit. I cannot. <laughs> That's funny, yo. Yeah, man, yo, and it's it's crazy because that song is popular by itself, but every yeah. time I hear it, all I think about is Con Air. It's all I think about the ending of Con Air. Where would I? Where can I watch Con Air if I wanted to watch Con Air? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's on Disney Plus. What? It's on Disney Plus. Is it? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, the request media is not available. Please try again if you continue to have problems. It was on Disney Plus. Where's this, where's the search? Here you go. Let's see. Uh. Oh, it's it's funny. I put in Con Air and I got She Hulk. She Hulk. Amazon Prime Video. Let's see. You have to rent it. Wait, wait. Maybe it. Let me see if if you have Prime. If you have the rented or not. Oh yeah, you have the rented for four four hours. Let's hold on. Let's see this. Uh, it's from the cruise. How can I? Is it on Peacock? Hold up. Yeah, I don't understand this shit. You, like, if you do this shit for another fucking uh, movie, it will give you a list of all the other movies, of all the other places that you could air collision. I put Con Air and I get Air Collision in Peacock. Con Air on Tubi. No. It's coming September 16th. So, sep- wait, what? It is September 16th. How did... All right, Cruz. I don't know math. To the point of quantum physics. But I know. Name on you. Yeah, right? But I know common sense. This shit says, oh, now it says currently unavailable. No, here you go. It says coming September 16th. Today, in this country, it is September 16th. There is no play button. There is a remind me. You will be notified via email when this becomes available. When is this going to? Yes, like when is this gonna gonna become available? Yeah, there's three hours. There's two and a half hours left in the day. If it's not available Uh, now, it's not available September (laughs) sixteenth. I'm sorry, Kofi. We're in the building, baby. Gonna try to pull up on AW. Mark my words. Yo, what's up? Yo, Kofi. Everybody gonna be there, man. Anybody been a fan of that 70s show? Cruz, were you yeah. a fan of that 70s show? I used to like the 70s show. I don't I, I 
I watched it every once in a while, but it wasn't it wasn't something that, that caught my eye. Big Bang Theory was just, was a was a show that I I, I didn't want to start late, so I refused to watch it until I was able to stream the whole thing. And then I streamed the whole thing, and I was like, yeah, "Penny was hot, but it was I right. it wasn't nothing wrong with like How I Met Your Mother." I think was one of the very I few wanted good I shows. wanted I wanted to fuck Mila Kunis so bad. Oh yeah, the show. Oh yeah, like that's what I like the show. It was dope. It was funny. I had my man from RoboCop, my man Red, the bad guy from RoboCop. Oh yeah, yeah, the Murphy, father, the, the father. father. Yeah. <laughs> that, I was sold with that. He's funny. He killed it. He did his thing in that show, man. He did his thing. His voice is, it's hilarious. It's a one of a kind, bro. You gotta pull the cord. <laughs> Yo, right. they ha- I think they have the the one that we can't talk about, RoboCop. I think it's on Amazon. You know that bullshit one? Oh, one? Yeah, that ex- crap one. Yeah. You know, crap, bro. Yeah, uh, part of me. Part of me wants to watch it. Yeah, it's on it's on Prime. A part of oh, me wow. wants to watch it over just That's to see. Intense. This is wow, Sway. I put it in. I put it in Amazon, and they had a picture of Murphy in the suit, and the suit looks like rubber. Cause you know it's black, so it looks it looks like a rubber suit. Jesus, they they. I I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that was so bad, bro. What yeah, because it RoboCop, bro, they should get sued for that. Yeah, yo, they they mixed RoboCop one, two, and three into the origin story of RoboCop. Like how, Sway? That's not what RoboCop is. How did they they, they had a training montage for him? Like he was a Wait, robot. That was pretty cool, but like in 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 terms of like making it more modern, that could they yeah. kind of needed that montage. But damn, bro. Still, like, still, no way. He didn't move like a robot or nothing. It was so <laughs> disgusting, bro. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Where's the? I'll buy that for a dollar. None of that shit. We, in, yeah, in this future, we don't need robots. We want robo, robots to be cops. They suck, bro. Yeah. It just yo the trailer to see Samuel Jackson with that hairdo was like yo you pissing me off right now, you pissing me off Fred, fucking Fred. That was a stupid movie price. Yo, so uh, damn, so you picked the the Chargers to to win. What yesterday's game? Yeah, and they lost. Yeah, badly, right? Not badly, by three points. Oh, okay. It's a good game. Oh, you know, I'm undefeated. Yeah. All the ones that I got right it was a hundred percent. Yo, uh, did you hear? Did you hear about Brett Favre? Uh, I think so. Some He's... some scam shit, man. I don't know the Brett... details though. I don't know the full details, but we was looking it up earlier, and apparently he. He, him, and him, and some somebody from like the center from Mississippi used welfare money to build the volleyball stadium for his daughter. Yeah, I heard I heard something like that. Okay, damn. And I, from, I, right? Yeah, I remember Shannon Sharp was talking about. He's like, "Yo, we're just gonna gloss over the fuck he's doing and what he did, but but when uh, this guy does some shit, and all of a sudden he should that never play was, football again." Yo, facts. She gets some of his records taken off Hall of Fame, right? Take yeah, right. Hall of Fame. I mean, shit is bigger than sports. Right. Word. Him and the That's governor crazy, of Mississippi. Man. Yeah. I mean, Pete Rose betted on on sports, and they banned him for life. <laughs> Jose Canseco was on steroids and outed the entire league. Yeah, fuck it. He's all right. 
It's like, what's going on here? People. Yeah. Or our discussion before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're pick and choose. Stupid, bro. Pick and choose. They pick and choose, bro. It's not fair. And then preach equality yeah. at the same time. Everybody don't hate hypocrites. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, it's about perception. It's like they want to paint this picture that oh they they're taking over everything. Perception of them taking over everything, but uh, you know what? Are, what are they? What are we taking over? It's a movie. She didn't become president. She's not a dictator. She's an actress playing a role. All actresses play a role in every movie. <laughs> Right? Yep, that's the idea. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the actual goal. That's the that's job. The, that's the job. <laughs> you know? Yeah, be Shit. someone else. Yeah, like you ain't... Uh, when we're all in McDonald's, no one's like, yo, they're taking over the McDonald's. Is this why there's no ice cream? Like, I know there's no... People thought the Joker <laughs> was real, some shit. The Joker was real? Some people think the Joker is real. Who? In terms of just like acting, you know, like oh 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 oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah 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 like people that stupid that they think yeah. the Joker is real. There was a curse. Remember that when um when uh what the fuck is his name? The dude who played the Joker in the Dark Knight. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. So. Before, like, when Heath Ledger took the the uh, the job, Jack Nicholson was like, "Yo, dude, like that." He he warned him about something, like if the Joker possessed him or some shit. I don't know, because everybody's like Jack Nicholson was the best Joker and no one could beat him. Blah blah blah. And then Heath Ledger, you know, fucking dies after playing the Joker, and it's like, oh, it's a curse. <laughs> it's just like, hey, don't worry about it. Jared Leto broke that curse. <laughs> People stupid. <laughs> yeah. People stupid. Let's go with show, man. Uh, any word? He came. Let's go with Kenny. Kenny, I think, is on his way to Boston. Good thing that no one watches from because he's going to surprise his friend's wife for her birthday or some shit. So they're on the way over to Boston tomorrow. Well, I think tonight they're on their way to Boston. Show was lead. I think he was waiting for his wife to come pick him up at work. So he was on the show for about maybe six minutes. And then I sent the I sent the link to Cabs and and Lay. I was like, if y'all want to come on, you, you're welcome. And I got no reply, but I'm pretty sure they're busy. It's very nice. Yeah. And it's just me and you now, man. Two bitches right. in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here playing Road Company. Road Company. That's the one that we had to get the the um the link for like you had to sign up for the link for the the pre access or some shit or was that hyperscape hyperscape all right because you know what's funny I have Splitgate hyperscape all these games that I downloaded to play with you and I played them once <laughs> I don't even think I I opened up Splitgate <laughs> I got mad games I got to play I want to finish that that uh green game the game we bought with Hav. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want to finish that. Like, I want to just like do a whole playthrough, like our YouTube, like a walkthrough, and just I need to finish. Like, we bought that game for nothing. Like, I want to go back and play and beat all the games I purchased. Like, that's a goal of mine. Not Shit. maybe now or later when I'm old, I'm gonna beat all the fucking games I have in my library. Yeah, yo, dude, I I have the I played more uh, Spider Man once, <clears throat> and I'm pissed off. Cause I bought that game on some yo. I gotta play this shit. Gotta play that shit. Like this game here, I gotta fucking play. Okay, we got a nice machine. Yeah, that was late, right? Yeah, that happened. Uh... Everybody's well, on this new um, Call of Duty, man. Oh, there's an update for Spider-Man. There's a new Call of Duty? Yeah. Oh, wait, the new the new game that... That dropped already, right? No, I don't think so. 
Is there a new map or is this an update? Whoa, my camera just got mad blurry. Oh yeah, it went out of focus. Yo, um, what was the question? Is there a new map or, I mean, it's just an update, right? In Warzone? Yeah. No, it's like a whole new game. Modern Warfare 2 is coming out. Oh, okay. But yeah. it's, it's not like that. I think Warzone. they're going to integrate it. They're going to integrate uh, Warzone with Modern Warfare, I think. Okay. <laughs> yes! That shit sounds drunk, yo. <laughs> Word. That shit sounds like it's about to throw up. It's drunk and it's trying to have a conversation. I'll be back, bro. Trying to see what's up with this. Uh... Call of Duty Warzone. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's see the Warzone shit. I want to see who's playing what. Oh, okay. That's... Everybody got black shit on. Who the hell is this? I, I, I opened up a Warzone just to see who's on it. And then I see this chick looking like Carmella. Wow, she looks almost exactly like Carmella. No ass, though. All right. Shit, man, I haven't played Warzone in a minute. Y'all play Warzone? Uh, I was never a fan until I played baseball. Black Ops was my favorite zombie mode. I I never played zombie. I I know Brazy kept talking about zombies. I watched him play it, but I never bought the game, so I don't... Like, I bought the original Call of Duty when it first came out. The the one that had Warzone in it. I call, I bought that game, and I beat that game, the, the campaign, and then I didn't buy the other ones. It was like, yeah, I only want to play Warzone. And if I still play multiplayer and I can... You know, I I had my guns already. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm good. I don't need to get these new guns. These new guns ain't shit. Not compared to my fucking the breakup. I bought the breakup and I was like, yeah, that's it. It's the only gun I need. That one in the kilo. The breakup in the kilo. Those are the only guns I really need. Everything else, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Everything else can go fuck itself in that game. The Mac 10 is all right. But you know, like I said, man, I don't even need the bullshit with you. You know, it's crazy. You open up these these uh like I open up Steam and I have so all these games need updates. Epic needs updates. One gig updates, two gig updates, eighty seven gig updates. M4, yep. That the M4 is the is the breakup. It's just the it was pink, and for some reason, like you could do the regular M4, but for some reason the breakup just felt better because it because it had the the pink bullets. It just felt stronger for some reason the M4 when you did the breakup, and the kilo when when I bought the black and blue one that had the blue bullets. It just it just feels better. Like I don't know. I love those tracers. I love the tracer bullets in, in Call of Duty. Joseph, what's going on? What's up, fam? Give me a give me an RPG. Yo, dude. <laughs> those shits are cheese. Oh shit. They got the kitty cat in the building. <laughs> the cat is like, what the fuck's going on here? That's you. That's you. The cat's like, yo, what is that? Why is there someone that looks like us there? <laughs> trying to tell you on camera I don't know why you're so shy Word. Hey, your mother to chill out <laughs> yo that cat was like why is there two people that look like us on the screen <laughs> yo it literally just did the <laughs> like what's going on here 
<laughs> Shit. Joseph over here said, give me an RPG. He's cheese. <laughs> Yo, give me a good RPG, bro. A good one, man. Fuck. Shit, I was, we were talking about the M4. I was like, yo, that breakup to me is still the best gun in the game. It's followed by yo, the kilo. That breakup break was hot. Yeah. That breakup was fire. I would still choose that. It's that in the kilo. Give me a sniper. Kilo or, heard uh, back. I heard Kilo's back. Yeah, a kilo with a sniper and the M4 with a with a semi machine gun. Yeah. Maybe the Mac 10, because the Mac 10 shoots fast. Right? Is Yo, that... matter of fact, bro, I'm a I'ma throw on some multiplayer. I miss uh multiplayer. Yeah, it's been a while. I tr- yo, dude, I still I think I got two more stages until I get that blue dot. Damn, I'm trying bro, to... <laughs> that blue dot. Damn, bro, yeah. that joint hurt me, bro. I can't believe that happened to me. Yeah, yo, dude, he got the blue that dot happened. and lost all of his shit. I lost everything. I did mad achievements for that shit. A fucking hacker. I bought mass stuff for it, guns. I, yo, that was my account. Burn. Give me dirty. Yo, yo so the, the Spider Man game is on Steam and it's on the Epic Games. Yeah. So I looked it up. It's like, there's no different. There's no difference. And then I was just like, I be having problems with Fortnite sometimes. I'm going to download this shit off Steam. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, I was like, I literally looked up, what is a better a place to. Different- yeah, so a different outcome. Yeah, it was like, what's a better place to download the game off of? And they literally was like, there's no difference. It's the same fucking game. But I was like, nah, nah. For some reason, Fortnite always crashes on me and some other shit. I'm doing it off Steam. I haven't had a problem with any game that I bought off Steam yet. So let's just oh, <laughs> let's do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, the shit is like, I want to download, I want to install the multiplayer for Call of Duty again. But that shit is like 500 gigs, bro. Call For the multiplayer? Yeah, Call of Duty is a heavy game, man. Damn. Yo, you know the, 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 the hard drives now are a little cheaper, like the M.2 ones that you put in the mother the motherboard? Yeah. I got a 2 terabyte M.2. I think I bought it for like 140 when it was originally like 200 and something dollars. Like, like last year. I yeah. Need, I need a couple terabytes. <laughs> Yeah, I, yo, dude, for some reason, I, I think it's because I download the, the audio and I just, like, I'm saving all the, the videos and audios from these streams that, yo, dude, the ter- the four, the two four terabyte hard drives I got fill up fast. And the mm. other one, like, the, the one terabyte I had just the, just the fucking windows on was filling up. I'm like, what is in these goddamn hard drives? Like, I had to buy another hard drive, like a bigger one. <laughs> What's going on here? But what I did was I cloned the M.2 to the, the SSD I had. So if this M.2 fails on me, I just plug in the SSD and I'm right back up. <laughs> I'm right back up. Nice. Fuck what you heard. This is what you're hearing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck all that. Because you need backups for your shit. I got, I got a 500 terabyte fucking... Spinning this, the HDDs, you know, the the regular hard drives, the brick ones, those huge ones. I got one of those yes. with the with the operating system what, on the it. The barricade one. Yeah, the Barracuda. Barracuda. Well, well, this is the one from the job. I have two of the okay. Barracudas, the four terabytes in here. That shit's about to fuck up. To pre-purchase Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Two. Is uh is ninety nine ninety nine for what? Yo, one hundred and twelve gigs free of three hundred of three point six three terabytes, and then two hundred and thirty gigs free of three point six three terabytes. I'm gonna have to start deleting some of these fucking these audios. Yeah, yo, Anthony, dude, I'm gonna have my own, I'm gonna need my own NAS system. Modern Warfare 2. So what do you get with this? You get the battle pass season one, 50 tier skips. So basically the entire battle pass. Red team one for one operator pack. Is that is that a team or is yeah, that I think just this a... is the ghost pack, right? This this right here. You get these people. 
Okay. The FJ Cinder Weapon Vault. 10 hours double XP. 10 hours double weapon XP. Instantly available in Modern Warfare and Warzone. Ghost Legendary Pack. Okay. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Early access to open beta. Starting September 22nd. Play the campaign to open... Play the campaign up to a week early. Instant available in Vanguard and Warzone. Final Judgment and... Callahad Al Sir Bundles. A hundred dollars. Where Kenneth Paul was going on. Sup, told my gosh. Uh, Shasi came back and the tank came back. Let's go. Thank you, Hunter. And she turned face. Nice. Nice. Fucking. Yeah. So there's a girl in, in uh, WWE where she has like green hair. She looks a little gothic and shit. Like she's one of those. Like you look at her like, oh, hey, she's out of there. She drives in on a little tank, like one of those Hot Wheel tanks, and she shoots something out of the out of the tank. When she made her debut on SmackDown, she did it once, and then they took the tank away from her, and she just came out like everybody else. So now she's coming back out with the tank. It's an experience okay. to watch that entrance. You know, it's something different. You're paying <laughs> so, 100 to cheat. <laughs> You're pretty much, pretty much. It's like the basketball games. Bro, you have to pay. Yo, get this. Kenny tells me he he paid one hundred and fifty dollars to pre order the the NBA game. So you, the pre order that comes to the NBA game is a hundred hundred and some thousand coins. Uh, you get some items and then the NBA league pass for for a year. One hundred fifty dollars. What? One hundred fifty dollars. One hundred and yes. Shut up. Yo, dude, the regular game is a hundred dollars now. Remember when the game was sixty five dollars? Yep. Dude, the games are a hundred dollars for incomplete. Do you you know what's you know what's funny, Quills? If I wanted to max out my player but not play the season, like let's say I don't have time to play. Right, but I need to max on my play so I can play in the park with my boys and all this other shit. Okay. okay. I would have to spend an additional one hundred dollars to get four hundred and fifty thousand coins, so I can max out my player and hope that I still have coins left over to buy shit. You know, to make my player look good. Nope. Why do you think I stopped, bro? Yeah. That, Dude, nah, man, I oh, couldn't. <laughs> These games. That was a grind, bro. I wasn't ready for that grind. Yeah, it it's a grind, and it's also like you have to spend money on the shit. You have to spend money on it. I I played one game in the new NBA uh, 2K, and I was like, "Yo, this is actually pretty good." Like, I was actually able to play as a 65 and score some points. What's going on, Austin? Score some points and. And you know, I was like, "All right, this is enjoyable." Oh, and what oh, happened? That Austin, what's up, Austin? <laughs> I was like, "What's Austin?" <laughs> yeah, Austin, three sixteen. No, but um, here he goes. Here I am. Oh. Yeah, it's all good. Look at these handsome people. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> we we try, we try. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, "All right, cool." You know, it's enjoyable, but like the only cool thing. Is that now they separated the errors. So you can literally rewrite history in your league mode. In the league mode. So you can make a character. Put him in the draft. And either be in the era where it was magic and bird. And play until Jordan comes. And then until Kobe comes. And then I was like. They have every single era draft. So you can play. You can stop Jordan from being the you know the second pick to the Bulls and stop the Lakers okay. from having Kobe and, and Shaq or defeat Kobe and Shaq with another team. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually play these people all the way to the to this era if you have the time. Okay. Which is actually pretty cool because usually what I usually do when we make our own leagues, I go, put all the best people in. I want to play against Magic, Shaq, Wall, like throw everybody. all the Take the scrubs out and I want nothing but hundreds and let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So every team is a stacked team. Mm. But now you can just play the errors. It's like, yo, that's kind of dope. You don't have to spend three hours making the teams. So you're a sexy by nature. I don't have 
I don't have a console, man. I need a console. Yo, dude, you know them shits are just as expensive as they as they were I when know, they came out. Bro, I know. Even I know. the X's. I know. What's today's topic? We just chilling. We was talking about the Little Mermaid. And then we was talking about racism. And then we started talking about some other stuff, right? You know, it, today's just a chill day. We're going to talk about whatever comes our way. You got something you want to talk about? By all means. Bros, I'll give you my PS4. Not for I'm, both my cats are here. That's why I'm looking back. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Playing, they're just playing in my room. <laughs> what the mother and that one? No, the boy. But the boy uh-huh. is so scared. Like, I have to run and catch him. Like I'm Bear Grylls or like Steve Irwin. Like, yeah, nice. I have to approach him and like pounce on him. I want. I want to show you him. Yes, he gets so scared and he just boils up like his tail under him. He cut like he tucks his tail in, ears back, eyes open. Like, yeah, I hear you. My my cat always be running too. It sucks. You playing full guys? Well, he has it on his stick. Why? Why? Why you mentioned full guys? Interesting. Yeah, Dave. Who's playing full guys? Yo. I remember the few times we played Fall Guys. It was fun. How's the fantasy treating you, too? Uh, I'm yeah, one and oh. I'm in pain. I'm, I'm I'm in pain, Austin. I'm one and oh. And uh, I'm happy that Patrick Mahomes didn't have a good game yesterday. <laughs> yes. Not, yeah. That, you, that the saved whole me. fantasy world was shitting bricks. <laughs> yeah, that saved me. <laughs> I got the the white Xbox One. I want the the new Xbox X, but I'm not spending over four hundred dollars for a new system. This it's a down payment for a car, yo. And you know it's crazy. The white Xbox, the Xbox One S, is is not even like four K or anything like that. I never understood how they they're coming out with a system that graphics wise is worse than the Xbox One X. You know. But yeah, man. Like I bought it. There you go. That was back in the day, but I'm not I'm not impressed. <laughs> if, dude, let's be honest here. Back in the day, when you bought the original Xbox, it was the size of a VCR. I'm pretty sure most of you I don't know what a VCR is, but just think of a huge fucking box. Right? And we was like, yo, look at the graphics on this shit. The yo, the innovation on it was that the controller wire, yes, believe it or not, our controllers had wires on them, had a quick disconnect just in case if someone tripped over the wire, it didn't pull your system out of the shit. Remember that shit, Krills? Yep. Which was dope, right? And when playing the games, like, yo, all this, the graphics on this shit is crazy. Then the Xbox 360 came out, and it was smaller, it stood up, and it had so much more games. It was like, yo, the games on this shit is like, yo, you can play... The basketball game, this game, the interface was easier to get to. You can download your own music to the to the system and you can play the music on the game when you was, you know, bored. Like you could there was so much shit that was like, yo, this shit is dope. Like I was able to download my music into the wrestling game and use that music as an entrance music. Can't do that no more. And then the connect came out and it's like, yo, you can use your hand and you can navigate the shit with the connect and you can be like, yo, connect. Turn off Xbox and it turns off the Xbox and it was dope. It was like, yo, this we're moving forward. And then they go, all right, we got the Xbox One X. All right, what does that do? Nothing. It just has it has 16 teraflops. Remember that? That was the only thing they said that this shit has. 16 teraflops. This Xbox Series X 117 has 32 teraflops. And I'm saying like that's awesome. But what does that mean? Some games. If they're rendered correctly, can play can play 4K at 120 hertz. That's fantastic. I can't wait for this. Wait a minute. You're not gonna be able to do it. Why not? Because your TV doesn't support 4K 120 hertz. Why doesn't it support 120 hertz? Because it doesn't have HDMI 2.1. Wait, what's HDMI 2.1? It's the new HDMI, it allows more bandwidth. All right, so how come these TVs don't come out with HDMI 2.1? They will. 
It's been three fucking years. I can't find the TV that has HDMI 2.1 and naturally because HDMI, the way that they, they program all the shit is 2.1, but it doesn't support 120 hertz. So why didn't you just put a display port on the fucking console and let me hook it up to a goddamn monitor? Because you know, you know what's funny, Krills? Here goes the funny shit. There are some monitors that are 4K, 165 hertz. Do not have HDMI 2.1. You can't play the console on them. Mm. Only over DisplayPort can you get a 4K 120 hertz. Yeah, this DisplayPort's are the way to go. Yeah, and I'm sitting here. I'm like, so what the fuck is the point? Why the fuck do I have a system that can play 8K 60 frames per second when there's no TV that ha- that that's under thirty thousand dollars that can play 8K and there's no TV out now that has 2.1? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I gotta spend one. I gotta hunt down a goddamn Xbox for for five hundred dollars because that shit was hard to find when it first came out. Remember that? Yeah. You still can't buy a PlayStation. You still cannot buy a fucking PlayStation Five if you wanted to. I gotta hunt this shit down. Then I gotta go find the TV that has the shit. And then they fuck you with the TVs because the TVs go. It has true motion 120 120 hertz. That's not real 120 hertz. You need 120 hurt native refresh rate. Because all they're doing is super processing the, the frame rate to double it. It gives you the illusion of 120 hertz. So unless it's native 120 hertz, you still can't play the shit on 120 hertz. And get this. You find a TV that's 120 hertz 4K in your price range. Not all games support it. So what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Give me your money. Right? Get out of the line. Give me your money. <laughs> but I still pay for it and regret it later. No, I hear yep. you, Joseph. I got it. <laughs> Trust you me, I got the system. Give me your money. <laughs> I got the system. The Red Ring of Death. Yo, dude. You know what the crazy shit was? <coughs> that Red Ring of Death? You know what it mostly meant? <laughs> the power supply was bad. If you change, if you bought a new power supply, it mostly changed. It fixed the ring, red ring of death. I didn't know that shit until we got it, and we sent ours in because it was still under warranty, and they they gave us a new <coughs> one. But my boy Robbie Bleaks, he had the yep. red ring of death, and he bought a new power supply from like GameStop, and it worked. I was like, oh, ain't that some shit? Nigga, <laughs> dabbing this. It worked. My fool, you guys seen this? Yeah, 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 I got it up, bro. When's the next Nintendo console game coming out? The next I'm, Nintendo console is in. I'm waiting Bruce's for the hand. next. I'm waiting for the next Switch. Yo, if if Nintendo really wants to be competitive with like Steam, because you know they have a Steam Deck now. That shit, I heard that shit is cracked. Yeah, it is cracked. It for the it's the best bang for your buck. If they want to pro- like compete yeah. with that, then there's gonna be some major upgrades, but. All they did was made an OLED screen, which is the, the resolution. Yeah, the new the new ones are just OLED. Yeah. It's like, I'm not, it's like a, what, 400? Yeah. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good with the light. I'm happy with the light. I just got to play it more. But this yeah. right here, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, love unless, it. You, unless you're going to be in like parties, fucking playing with other people, there's no need for the... The, what are those? The emoji cons? No. The joysticks. The, 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 yeah, there's no need the for them to come off. It's like you don't have a TV you hook that shit up to anyway. So <laughs> you get your PlayStation Vista with the Vita. <laughs> you got your you got the Nintendo Switch, the same shit. Fucking dope. Can you play Call of Duty on that? I don't think so. Hmm. I could search. I'm gonna say that that's racist then. Yo, you know what? You know what's crazy? Like, I, I'm pretty sure you you guys don't even mind. Uh, these systems I think it different. is. It's Call of Call of Duty is reportedly re- finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, nice. Yeah, they do cost my money. I know. I know people watching don't mind. And when I see our display on Restream, it looks fine to me. When I watch it on YouTube. The quality looks horrible. 
and I set full 1080p. Twitch looks a little better. Full 1080p. Facebook looks the same shit as, as YouTube. Twitter, they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. It's pissing me off, Chris. <laughs> it's pissing me off. Like, I'm paying money for this, and it, it, I can get a way better quality with OBS, and that shit's free. Hmm. The only problem, the only problem is Ninja is like getting you guys on the OBS is the problem. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't Ninja a headache? Yeah, it was because I every time I did fucking headache. Yeah, every time I did some shit, it would move, and then the, the connection was bad. It was like I just I just wish that they had some shit like this where I can invite people. On and it just went into OBS. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, if there was a way I can take you, get a code for you, put it in OBS as its own source, boom. Perfect. I would use Restream for that. I would pay for Restream like I'm doing so I can take you and put it in OBS and then have the greatest... Yo, because when I stream on Twitch... Through OBS playing the games, I'm crispy as shit. Crispy as fuck. This camera is worth it then. Right. Right now, watching this is like I spent almost eight hundred dollars on this camera for nothing. I look like I got a fucking Elgato face cam. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my. I still got my nine twenty. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need more than that. You don't need more than that. Bro. Yeah. You know me. I'm just I'm just always the fucking guy. Like, I need better. You know, right. I'm always, I'm always, I'm a psychopath. Never satisfied with what you got, huh? Right. Yeah. That's what it is. And, it, yo, the Go XLR and the mic is all beautiful Still and all that shit. More? No, no, I don't want more. Like, the, okay. like the only thing I would <laughs> no, get, I don't it, want more. <laughs> like, if someone gave me the Shure SM7B, I'll take it. I'm not spending five hundred dollars on a mic. This is perfect, but the Elgato Wave. The only problem with that was the software. I can't. I had to keep, you know, setting what was what every time I opened it up, and that was a pain in the ass. I don't have to do that shit with the Go XLR. It's beautiful, but the way I sounded on the Elgato was the same way I sounded on this. So it didn't. It wasn't like a, a you know upgrade. You boost. Yeah, it's just now I got all this shit. Which, to be honest with you, I can do with the fucking stream deck. It doesn't want to get that the fuck out of here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I can do that with the stream deck too. So it's not. It's like, all right, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Get so they fuck, the fuck you with the cell phones. Here. They fuck you with the cell phones. Yo, the cell phones, cell phones and sneakers, bro. Major scams. Yeah, especially. Especially the iPhones. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the iPhones better than Androids because of just the simplicity and they actually fucking work. You know, I I remember my Android didn't. You know, I had four batteries in my pocket. But uh, they, they, every year they're coming out with the same fucking phone. Now it's in purple. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie to you, Krills. If they would have turned around to me, if they would have said, yo, yo, toe tags, this year we're coming out with a blue. And I'm like, you know what? Then it's time for me to upgrade. I'll go from the 12 to the 14. Fuck it. But they said, no, 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 we got a purple. I said, well, I'm good with my 12. I didn't wait for you to come out with a blue phone to get a purple one. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I told you, because I'm a psycho. <laughs> I need, I need my shit. Right. So oh, far, Clips is playing Fortnite. Interesting. Uh, okay. I see you, Clips. I ordered some food, man. I'm gonna regret. Uh oh. But you got some. I thought the the frito. Fucking wing stop, bro. Oh man. They delivering it to you? Yeah, bro. I regret it. Let's order ten wings. Fucking wing stop. The yeah. wings stop by you, even though the one Fuck I went to, them, bro. Yeah, yeah, they suck. 
They pretty do. sure other wing stops make their wings better. Same recipe, I bet they cook them better. Like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they don't. They don't they just, fucking dry them shits out. I remember what, one time we had the thighs, and it was like, "Yo, all I'm eating is skin." And I don't think there's any meat here. The meat like, they trash. disintegrated the meat. They cooked the shit so much. But I'm starting to get hungry. I just came from the gym not too long ago. Mm. Like when I got hopped on, I yeah. left the gym like half an hour ago, prior. Okay. So I'm starting to get hungry. Like my stomach is wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I feel I'm feeling achy. I hate you. Yeah, I need to replenish. And I'm just staring at the order, bro. <laughs> I'm, staring, I'm staring at the order. <laughs> Armando. To... Armando. Oh, my God. It's my boy, bro. Armando Alejandro Estrada. <laughs> Say I'm about to get... get... <laughs> Wait, say I'm about to go go get pick up some wing stop. Wait, what? <laughs> That's bubble gus, bro. Yeah. Yo, are you gonna deliver my food? Oh, is that you, nigga? You gonna deliver my food? <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah, it's me. Wing stop? Yeah, it's me. I got it. 850. Wing stop. Oh, that's how much I gave you? Yeah, nigga. Well, you see, I don't know what you gave me, but I think the, the company gives me like 250. That's not bad. I see. I saw your name on there. I said, get the fuck out of here. Is that me right there? Yeah, I see you, bro. Armando, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you right now. Uh, hurry up, bro. Yo. Yo. Nah, I didn't get a drink. If you could get a drink, that'd be dope, though. <laughs> hurry up, bring my food, bro. I'm starving. Yeah, it is cool. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nah, yo, don't ring my bell. It's late. Call me, man. You gonna come down? Nah, yeah. come on, don't do that to me, bro. Come on, man. Come up. Relax. Relax. All right, All right, good looking. <laughs> yo, I know the Uber guy. That's yo, crazy, I wing, bro. I know him, man. Nah, he won't do that. <laughs> But yeah, Shit. man. Um, so what we were saying? Ten minutes away. I'm tracking him. This is the funniest thing ever, bro. <laughs> that you came from the gym. You get. Uh, they said you're gonna get bubble guts from the wing <sighs> yeah, stop. Yeah, bro. I know, man. I'm not. Uh, it's gonna be hard, bro. It's gonna be hard, bro. I'm. I'm. I instant regret, bro. And 10 pieces of appetizer. I get the 35 piece with some rolls, too. Hold on. Yo, I didn't know they had a 35 piece. That's going by the pieces, though. It has to be. What? They have rolls in Wingstop? Hamburger bread. Oh. <laughs> I remember? Yeah. remember they yeah, started yeah. getting us with biscuits and it was hamburger yeah. bread. And they called it biscuits. Like, all right, bro, we're on to your shit. <laughs> Keep that shit to yourself. Yo, dude, I favor Buffalo Wild Wings more than Wingstop. You can't beat that honey barbecue. I mean. mm. And you know, like the, the mild wings from Pizza Hut, not the Wing Street, because Pizza Hut has Wing Street also. But if you go to Pizza Hut that doesn't have Wing Street, the mild wings there, they're like this fucking big, though. But they, they crack. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Can't just do the zone with here. <laughs> Hamburger bread, not over here. They're real buttery rolls. Mango habanero. And be uh Buffalo Wild Wings is fire. That's yo, is that hot though? Because I, I don't like spicy shit. Yo, I remember I heard the, that's hot. Yo, I remember I went there with with one with um you remember you know uh Glenny. Hmm. You remember I went there with her once and and we, we ordered the wings and you can get pick up to four, right? He's like, Oh, why don't we try some new wings? I said, I told the waiter, I said, She can pick whatever she wants. Give me one of them with bar- honey barbecue. I'm eating something tonight. That's funny. Give me a second, <laughs> like, but let me that. get my food. Yeah, yo, dude, she picked some spicy shit that I had one by. I was like, Yo, nah, give me two more cups of soda because, nah, nigga, this is ridiculous. I had the world spicy shit, that one chip challenge shit, Joseph. 
My boy, I, I told, I, stupid. I told him, I said, yo, if you buy it, I'll try it. So he bought it. It was $15 for one chip. $15. He bought it. The video is on my YouTube. You got to look for it. Yeah, just like search one chip challenge on, on my page. Matter of fact, if anything, I'll, I'll put the link up. I'll, I'll look for it. Uh, what the fuck? There you go. I found it. I found it. I put the link in the. I put the link in the chat. Yeah, only eighty four views. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> you Latin, you don't like spicy shit? Yo, dude, I'm, I, I like sweet shit. So anyway, I took... That's the video, right? After, after the stream, watch it. I took a bite of that shit. Yo, dude, that destroyed my fucking... Like, my whole taste buds. I used to be able to take mild to slightly hotter, mild wings or, uh, or food, and I used to be aight with it. After that one chip challenge shit, I can't take nothing spicy. If you put too much pepper on something, I'm a little. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get one of them sodas real quick. I just scarred you, bro. <laughs> Yo, for life. I for hear life. You. I respect it. I would have been scarred too. <laughs> Shit is real. Shit is Word. real. Word. Word. I can't believe I only got fucking 84 views on that shit, motherfucker. I almost killed myself. For what? You bastards and not even watch the shit. Motherfuckers. After the stream, go watch it. Go watch it 17, 17 times. I'm watching a chick play Call of Duty and she got no ass, yo. Like, I looked up the new call. This is, this is, you got no ass. Fuck was that? <laughs> That's the chick I'm watching play Call of Duty. <laughs> How am I supposed to fucking respect her gameplay when she got no ass? <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Word. Yo, for Christmas, I need a camera. What's going on, Russell? Yo, Chris. Wait, what up, Chris? Wait, what did Russell do over here? Uh, sub told no spoilers for me, but I went to SmackDown today and watched the dark match. But then WWE played Scared Song when I went to Red and Black, but it sounded like White Rabbit similar to uh, Cross Lucha Underground. What? By the way, you trying to say we getting a different type of uh, carrying cross? Okay. Shit. I don't watch SmackDown like that. I saw the beginning when uh, Logan, when Jake Paul came out and wasted our fucking time. Uh, I thought some Valentina on the hot chip challenge, bro, was it was medium hot. Wait, the the shit I got was super hot. It was hot, hot. It was hot and hot. That shit was on fire. Shit. That shit came directly from the sun. I spit out fire. I, I literally spit out fire in that in the fucking room I was in. Melted half the room. <laughs> Babies wouldn't be able to survive with the shit I had. <laughs> A doctor said that shit sterilized me for six months. <laughs> I couldn't leave my fingerprint nowhere. That's how bad that shit was. Bro, wing stops atomic is hotter than that chip. Get the fuck out of it. Hold up. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of it. Just wing stop atomic is hotter than you know. Get. Why would you do this? Shit. You fool. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting you with all the facts right now. 
Grupo Wolfpack, nosotros somos unos vatos locos forever. You feel me? Shit, now. No more questions. I'm sorry, y'all. You're gonna have to give me a few minutes. No, yeah, he's enjoying that shit. <laughs> he's 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 making love I'm to those starving. Women. Where he's making love to those wings. I ain't mad at you, shit. I I wish I had some wings in my hand right now. Yo, how is this shit up? It's a hundred percent, but not done. Then it's not a hundred percent. You cannot be a hundred percent and not be done. If you have more to go than 100%, you're not fully done. You're not 100%. Yeah, man. Yo, I got mad sun Chris. For some reason, I don't do it. But you know what, man? It's not a problem that I can't fix. I'm just telling you. <laughs> we usually do it. We usually do it for this, this podcast. Because, you know, we just like to have fun here. You know, sometimes we'll use it for other shit. But we got to look out. Look out for what? I don't know, but sometimes we got to watch out <laughs> with the sound clips we use. You know what I'm saying? Psych! <laughs> but yeah, I'm not even going to lie. I'll be, I be ranting. So I don't even, I don't use more than and Because <laughs> they're the easiest ones to remember where they at. I can get to them real quick. The other shit, I be forgetting sometimes. Hey, I got to set up my sound clips. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yo, and you could you could download them all from like one area. Like, there's so much shit that you could get that like I was like, yo, I want this, but I I never had a reason to use it. Like emotional damage. I there's so many places I can use it, but I completely forget I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like I can start off each and every podcast with hello, motherfucker, and completely forget about it. You know what I'm saying? I need... <laughs> it's like shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know Joseph right now is on some... Hey, yo! <laughs> you know, but you know something, Joseph? You want to talk about atomic wings are uh, fucking hotter than that one chip? You know what you could do? Fuck your life! <laughs> I'm having fun now. I ain't even fucking... I ain't even fucking around with you. You know, like, with, with Quill's muted, all I hear is... You know what I'm saying? Inside though. Inside though. With with the way that show keeps his uh his streaming set up is you know, people come down there and be like, Y'all right now are looking like straight garbage. <laughs> My bad. I just wanted you know, I just wanted to press the buttons, man. I don't really get to press them. To this day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm having fun until Quills finishes eating. When Quills finish eating, all you're gonna hear is I wish I had a better quality of that. that that's the sound bite of the band is on the field! He's going into the end zone! <laughs> that was the best quality I could get. The greatest call in sports history. And the band is out on the field. He's going into the end zone. <laughs> Shit. I want to hear the eating and chewing sounds like that MSR. Yo, if he if he puts his, his mic out, all you're going to hear is... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but Cruz don't. Cruz doesn't chew sexy. He's not in. You know, he does, he's not made for the the ASMRP shit. <laughs> my bad. But hey, if you want to hear, if you want to hear Cruz, I got him. Everybody knows you're my friend, bro. We got You got to get it together. <laughs> I he's always a part of the podcast, whether he's here or not. You know what I'm saying? I I got him. I got him. What? <laughs> he chews like a set. Yo, don't you see him eating? <laughs> My man uses his entire neck to eat a wing. <laughs> he's like, ah, 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 ah. he's head butting the table and shit. Why do you think his cat is so afraid of him? He's like, yo, no, no, that that should look like one of my legs. 
<laughs> girls get the food and be like, well, do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> There's no plan. Me, meanwhile, yo, he make fun of me because <laughs> I need to sit down. He's like, no matter what you eat, it's a meal to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a napkin that was nice and neat and shit cleaning his hands after every bite his lips I'm like bro just go to work man <laughs> you know, work yeah. I'll be back <laughs> yeah man yo I, listen the way, I be doing it you know what it is I don't like touching shit with fucked up hands so I need to drink after every few bites or else I get the massive fucking acid reflux so I be like <laughs> Fuck. All right, let me wipe my shit. Let me get the drink. Because I don't want to be fucking picking up a fucking a box full of fucking <laughs> honey barbecue sauce and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in the wet nap. That's afterwards. But yo, you know, them shits ain't as wet as they used to be. I'm just saying. Those wet naps can be a little bit wetter. That's how they fuck you over here. They give you moist naps. They don't give you wet naps. You know what I'm saying? The best is when you have wet dreams. <laughs> I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know if I'm seeing shit or something flew by my light. But if something flew by my light. Get that the fuck out of here. But yeah. Haven't had those in a couple of days. <laughs> he said in a couple of days. Shit, it's been a while, man. All right, I don't understand this shit, Krills. I don't understand. This shit is at 100%. Oh, it's verifying. All right. I was, about to, I was about to spaz. The same way you was about to spaz on subways today? I was about to spaz on Steam. I wasn't too mad when I was like, I ordered this shit. He made that shit fast, and the other chick started taking forever. I'm like, bitch, you don't know how to read? I'm like, oh, yo, so I ordered Subways online, and I found a coupon. Still, so it, though. Yeah. I, I mean, I ordered this shit at 140. It said it'd be ready at 2. It said it was ready when we, you know, when we left. We got there, and my man was making the sandwich. He made, this, he made the first one fast, and then the second one was forever. And I'm like, yo, bro. This shit should have been made when I got here. Like I appreciate it being fresh, but it should you should have handed me a bag and two cups and you called it a day. What did I wait 20 minutes for? I could have just came and watched you made it. There was no one here. You know what I'm saying? There was no one in there when we got there. There's no excuse. You had the receipt ready, but you ain't had my shit ready. My shit needs to be ready. You know what I'm saying? It made me write a poem. And here's the poem. Kill, kill, the white man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A mama juju jubilee. They be finessing the city. Yo, word. No one takes pride in their jobs anymore. No one, no one takes. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. The hard work on that one. You know, that one. This one's by special request. Exclusive! I got Poochie gave me those sounds. <laughs> Say, I got a pop bellies over there? Nah, the only pop belly I got is right here. And <laughs> Cruz is working on his pop belly. <laughs> now, nah, what's pop bellies? I, I, I'm assuming that it'll be a, a barbecue joint. Right, that's gotta be like barbecue. Which I ain't gonna. Yo, Joseph, you in Texas, right? Where's the spot in Texas to get some good barbecue and some steak? You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna. Yo, I was looking it up, and I don't think Google understood me when I said a giant steak. Because they over here talking about three, four hundred dollars for a steak. I'm like, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I ain't trying to spend $300, $400 on a fucking steak. You got to be out your fucking mind. But I want one of those, like, 74-ounce steaks. You know what I'm saying? It's a sandwich spot. Was it, like, Arby's? You got the meats? Is it a fast food restaurant, or is it one of those mom-and-pop joints that just opened up in different locations? 
Austin, bro. Austin, San Antonio. Austin and Houston, San Antonio. Okay. All right. Because if I make a trip down there, I got to get some. I, I want a Texas steak. Everybody fucking around. I want one of them. I want one of them barbecues. I want some ribs. I want some steaks. I want some brisket. I, I'll take some chicken, some rice. You know, give me some shit, man. I want some shit. I want to go down there. I'm like, yo, give me the good stuff. My man's like, I got you. And boom. 30 pounds of food. $17. Unlimited drinks. $17. That's what I want in Texas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Off, fall off the bone ribs. I don't want none of that pan no blouse shit with the fucking... <laughs> with the salt. Don't put the salt on your elbow, motherfucker. Put it on the meat. I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> Girls know what I'm talking about. I don't, I, don't, I don't want none of that. Oh, my God. None of that. No, no, no. Put it on the meat. Get the shaker. Take it out your hands. Put the shaker on that. These steaks will clog your arteries within minutes. Bro, I've been training my whole life. <laughs> I've been training my whole life. My arteries don't get clogged. You know what I'm saying? My phone. My phone doesn't have a case or a screen protector on it because it don't drop. Unless I drop it. I'm in full control. My arteries don't get clogged. I train them. They are Chuck Norris level when it comes to shit. They're like, Whoa! you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> Chris about to eat the bone. <laughs> so they must have been good then. Oh, they, they you just hungry. <laughs> He's like, yeah, fuck that. He's like, I don't give a shit if these are good or bad. These are going down. <laughs> Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Oh, no. oh, well, fuck it. Update later. <laughs> Ten wings about to knock his ass out. Look at that shit. Eat them bones. They good too. Word. There's ribbo flapping in them. Get that bone marrow. Yo, you know bone marrow is like candy to dogs? That's why they love chewing on the bones so much. Yo, Joseph, what's something that you want to learn about or hear about or talk about for the comic book podcast? Because for some reason, we get good... We get... Uh, bone marrow on your steak is good as fuck. I ain't never had that. I've heard about it, but I ain't never had that. They do that in Texas? That's what they do in Texas? They put the bone marrow on the shit? Yeah, man. So we, we get good numbers for Raw and for the, the Wrestling with Knuckleheads podcast. We get decent numbers for this one. The sh the, the sports one, I know is going to rise because, you know, we just started that shit. But the comic book one... You know, it goes it goes up and so I'm just trying to I'm trying to get, you know, either new topics or, or something in there. Trying to find out what the people want so we can talk about it because we got some of the smartest people in the game in the comic. You know, it's like as as smart as Krills is about his football and his his dime defense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then we can fucking uh we, we got those people that are smart in the comics. Why is she Hulk trash? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, the TV show. Did you see yesterday's episode? I think yesterday's episode was the first actual she Hulk show. Think about it, man. There's nine episodes. That was episode four. There's five left. So that means that was technically episode one. If we're going to go off for the whole six episode thing for Disney Plus. Yesterday's show was decent. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to you. It, like, it started off strong with episode one and two. It was like, oh, and then three and four was like, eh. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. But yesterday was good. It was actual, like, She-Hulk show. It had some lawyer shit in it. You know? I do wish, I do wish it was, it was a little bit more focused. If that makes sense. Because it does seem like it's all over the place sometimes. Not gonna lie to you.
All right, Crows just finished storing up all the, the wings he just ate. <laughs> he got to keep his figure. Damn, yo. Crows thinks he's, he's slick, but I know. I see it. He emptied out that water bottle and put seven up in there. You see the bubble? You see how he's hiding the bubbles? <laughs> Don't let him fool you. Don't let him fool you. I need a toothpick. <laughs> just use one of the bones. <laughs> Lick the sauce from the box. <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? My brother had a problem with her twerking also in the office. If she was twerking anywhere else, it would have been a problem. But her twerking in the office, it, it, it's like, yo, isn't this supposed to be like a serious, respectable firm? The only one that was serious was the, the black chick that was representing her on the last episode. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, hold on, wait. Doesn't uh, LeBron uh, endorse? Isn't he endorsed by Seven Up? Sprite. Uh, Sprite. See, girls don't do what LeBron says. He's just a fan. So how was the wings? Gross, bro. Instant regret. But I was hungry. I did the trick. Yeah. I'm not hungry no more. Uh, you wish you would have got baby turnips? I didn't know what else to order. I froze. Yeah, nah, nah you, unless you're going to order a fucking chopped cheese. Yeah, I ain't want that. So I thought I ordered 10. I had 15. That's what was taking forever. Oh, the call up is in the building. <laughs> Have you made it to Boston, Kenny, or you just fucking... Is that Andrew? It's not Andrew. You mean left flop? What? I don't know. Oh, left flop. Stupid. <laughs> You're talking about LeBron there. Mm -hmm. My bad. My bad. Like, I, you know, I literally looked at the word. My brain was malfunctioning. Yo, dude, this whole day, I cannot remember names for shit, and I'm looking at shit... I Yo, dude, I forgot how to order a fucking strawberry slushy, all right? Yes, I got here an hour ago. You got here an hour ago, and you waited until now to join the show to, to get into the chat? You got there an hour ago, you couldn't just immediately get on the chat and be like, yeah, I got here safe, fellas. Oh, my God. You know, you know how many lynch mobs could have been in your in your door already? You in Boston, bro. You got to be, you gotta be uh, fucking... Gotta be safe out there, man. I almost got attacked in Boston. Andrew Tate. There you go. That's see. He goes, is that Andrew? Andrew Tate. See, Joseph knows. This is why we keep you around, Joseph. <laughs> You're on point today. I like it. Yo, I think I'm starting to get those uh those brain worms. You know when you don't get enough sleep? Mm. I think I'm I think I'm starting to get those because I notice. Like later on in the week when I'm when I'm not getting enough sleep, I start like forgetting shit and I can't articulate a sentence right. Go to the doctor. I just, oh, bought, what? I just bought some pills uh to help me eliminate parasites from my body. Oh nice. Mm -hmm. Hope it works. It would work. That's gonna be weird though if you take a piss and you see shit swimming Once in the I fucking it, when I take that dump, bro, I'll be scared to look back. Word. If you I see be... some shit like coming out like this out my stool like this. I'm I'm <laughs> and it's all from the I'm, wing stop. I'm I'm fainting. I'm I'm a faint, bro. I'm you a got faint. you got shit swimming up your ping too. I'm gonna pass out, bro. <laughs> I would never stop taking those pills on God. <laughs> I want everything of everything out. <laughs> nah, I hear you. Those pills gonna invite the worms. Uh... <laughs> shit. Go to the doctor. I am the fucking doctor. They call me the fucking doctor. Uh huh. How I'm supposed? I'm I'm trying to. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to give my boy a rating. Like you know what I mean. I'm trying to like. Oh, it might be better on the app. I don't see it here. I don't see my recent order. You know, I think I'm gonna have to oh, fucking do it, do a chat with Restream to see what's up with the quality. 
What are you doing, bro? Word. Fucking Fuck cat, it. bro. Uh, I don't see my shit, man. Yeah. So he goes, oh, She Hulk should be going crazy, hulking out, destroying shit, not this soft shit. Yeah, but that's not what She Hulk does, bro. She Hulk isn't a rage monster. She's a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. She, you know what it is? Because Banner was abused as a child. So the Hulk was like his persona that came out to protect him. That's why every time he gets angry, his his anger comes out as the monster and it, it kind of protects him. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't have that trauma. So when she turned into the Hulk, she it was just she would have full control over it. It didn't go off of her emotions. She was able to just transform in and out. <laughs> Give him 2.5 stars. Damn. I'd have gave him 2.3. Fuck it. I gotta see She Hulk. Is like the whole episodes are done? Not yet. Uh, we're on episode five, but there's nine episodes. I'm not oh gonna lie God. to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is a show that you should binge watch. Okay. Because the, the, the shows end abruptly, and it's always like, God damn it. Because it feels like it's too fucking short. So to be able to 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 watch it, you know, all together, I think it would be better. You know, but that's just me, man. I watch a, a fucking a season that's seventy five episodes in two days. <laughs> I remember I watched the first the first season of the Power Rangers on Netflix, sixty four episodes, and it was missing a few. I watched that in like maybe a. Like three weeks. You know, when I set my mind to shit, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of episodes. Yeah, it is. They need to scrap the whole She Hulk stuff then, because that ain't it. What you mean that ain't it? That's her from the comics. She's supposed to be, well, one, they made her because they didn't want the the TV network that was showing the Incredible Hulk with, with, um, Lou Ferrigno to make a female Hulk. So they made her so that way the, the, the network didn't have the rights to a female Hulk. And then she just turned out to be like an over-sexualized parody of like uh, Wonder Woman. And then she was the first ever person that could break the fourth wall and all other shit. You know, they just they they made her do other shit. But she was like mostly known for being in the Fantastic Four when uh, Benjamin Grimm took a break. That's the thing. And she took his place in the in the in the show. She was big in Secret Invasion, and uh, Secret Wars or Civil War Two, and then the mother shit was happening. Like she's one of those characters that puts the pieces together. I just I just felt like I feel like the reason why the show isn't hitting as as hard as the other ones is because it's only half hour long. You'll only do but so oh, much wow. in a half hour. You oh know what I'm wow! I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's good to binge watch because it's a half hour each show. You need like you need to see all of them at one point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because at one, you know, when I watched the new episode, like, what happened last episode? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's like, come on, man. Yeah, forty five minutes to an hour. It's not bad. Give me some shit. Andor's uh, debuting next week. On Wednesday, three episodes, yo's. They're doing a three episode debut. They're showing the first three episodes. They ain't fucking around, Ooh, man. Who? What was show? Andor. It's a Star Wars show on Disney Plus. Oh, okay, okay. You think they're making Planet Hulk? They, I think so. Episode two, the Hulk's going back to Sakar, and that's that's where Planet Hulk was. He could be. Okay. Word, I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited for that shit too. Oh man, Crows is like, yo, I ate, I'm good to go. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just what? heard you say, okay, okay, let's let's uh, let's wrap this up. No, I gotta no, go no, think of shit. I, I figured it out. I figured it out. So, okay, okay. <laughs> I figured out the rating. <laughs> oh my god, technology, bro. Word. 
And now I'm fighting the wind coma. I'm fighting it. Yo. Bros. What the fuck is this? Is that a new gulag? gulag? Yeah. It's a gully. Wow, they changed the gulag on me. That's the chick that had no ass. She was standing in like lava. Waiting for her turn. Some bitch. They're always fucking shit up. <laughs> He's got to hit that wings coma word. Word. Beat. Yo, where you got those plushies, those little dolls? To your left. Uh, one was given to me. Two was given to me. One was bought for three. All three of them were given to me. <laughs> <laughs> all three of them were, were presents. Ah, nice. You got Miles, Peter, and Black Panther. Black Panther, yeah. A little weird mix up there, but hey, Black Panther's there. You got a black guy, a white guy, and a half and half. You know what I mean? Sounds good to me. For the culture. Word. I got to put those pictures that are from my other world behind me. And I got the Jets Fox still. I got to figure out what to do with the Fox. Oh, the Jet Fox? Yeah. Yo, I'm thinking about getting those those shelves that you just like uh, double side tape to the wall. And putting like some of my, like where my hand is right here is a Rey Mysterio and a Biggie. Those are figures. And then I have figures that are in the box. So there. So maybe I'll put those on those shelves and the pictures or some shit. Yeah. The hell? Yo, do not be surprised if at 12.03 when we sign off. What up, guys? I just made it home. This <laughs> show pops up. Oh, that's his thinking face. Okay. You think the show's going to show up? Probably. He's going to show up mad late. At 12 as soon as we get off? Yep. Yeah, I, I do. I do, Joseph. 100%. Like, I'm even feeling some heartburn coming along. I had lemon pepper and garlic parm. Killer. I'm waiting for the shits. <laughs> I'm waiting for the two a.m. the two a.m. shits. What flavor did you get? You usually get the lemon pepper one, right? And the garlic. Yeah, oh the the garlic. Yo, dude, you know, uh garlic for some reason that helped me out. Like I put garlic on the steak because it helps season the steak, and you know, the steaks are the best steaks I've ever had. But for some reason, the, the garlic fucks with my acid reflux bad. That's funny. Yeah. You know the minced garlic where it's like the liquid? Yes. Don't, yes. Yes. I put I put that on the steak. And yo, dude, that they are, it, it's juicy. It's juicy. But it's a very garlicky flavor. And there'll be times I'll be waking up, my mouth is like a puddle of fucking saliva and shit. Mm. And I'll be like, for like 15 minutes, this fucking spitting a mess. Yeah, yeah. My, my eyes all bloodshot red. Looking like Arno and what is it, Total Recall? Yeah, I mean, space. Yeah. And shit. Oh. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> Yo, there was one time I woke up like that, right? And I was like, fuck, and I ran in the bathroom. <laughs> I went back to sleep and I put my head on the pillow and the whole bed was soaked. It was soaked for me. <laughs> like drooling. I was like, oh fuck, bro. Damn, bro. Yeah. 
This can't take me no. Yo, you know what shit. I want, bro? I want an electric scooter. Electric bike. Well, a scooter or a bike? Bike. Yo, you know they sell those adapters. You could just put it on your bike, right? Yeah. But I see it in your face already. He's like, I'm not doing that. I want yeah. the bike already assembled. Yeah. <laughs> My man said, my money's not going into labor. It's going into the bike. <laughs> <laughs> I want convenience. <laughs> my man said, no, no, no. I don't want I don't want a motor. I want the bike. <laughs> no. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Let me see. When they make a seat that, you know, a, 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 a huge person can sit on without breaking their tailbone, then I'll, I'll ride the bike. That was my first and last the time drinking is, Fireball. Jesus. Forty to sixty-five miles per full charge. It's not bad. Yeah. It gets to where you go on and back maybe twice. You know? Sixty-five miles. The size of Manhattan is 22, right? Shit. Now you asking me about fucking yo, you about to set off the Deutsch proposition. Uh how long is uh is Manhattan? Like twenty two miles or something like that? Twenty two point something. I I yo, in my head I put how long is Manhattan? When I looked up it just says how is how Manhattan? 13.4 miles long. How much? 13.4 miles long. That's nah, said 22. Yeah, it's about 2.3 miles wide at its widest. Huh. Well, I mean, if it's 13.4 miles long, then it's 26 miles going and coming. Yep. Yeah, so you could, you could do the whole Manhattan. Mad times. Word. So lower Manhattan, mid Manhattan, upper Manhattan, Harlem, and the Heights. That's how it goes. Okay. That yo, I hear people like, oh, I'm from the Lower East Side. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Yo, you sound like it, it costs too much money to live. I want to know how long does it take to fully charge? Ten, fifteen minutes. I wish, bro. I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> we could just zap our devices to full charge. Yo, did you hear about the car I was talking to Yos about? Mm -mm. The electric vehicle. So I was watching this this uh, YouTube channel. You know the the white guy, the Linus Tech Tip shit. They have a car channel where they, they talk about electric vehicles. And this one guy's like, yo, this electric vehicle goes from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. It has uh, 547 wow. miles for the charge, right? It, it 820 horsepower. And he's like, yo, this is my favorite car, right? Then he's driving it. He goes, yo, the navigation in this shit sucks. It's <laughs> taking me to a place that, like, it's telling me to go places that don't exist. It's telling me to get off an exit that doesn't exist on the highway. I know where I'm going, and it's like, I passed the exit I was supposed to go, and now it wants me to exit here in the middle of nothing. And he's like, oh, but I'm pretty sure you're saying to yourself, why don't you just hook up Android or Apple Auto? He goes, I would, but it's not available for this car yet. He goes, a Honda Civic has Apple Apple CarPlay on it, but this car doesn't all of a sudden. And he shows a video. He's pressing the buttons on the thing. He goes, all of my camera equipment's in the fucking trunk, and it doesn't want to <coughs> open it was opening 35 <laughs> seconds ago. It doesn't want to open now. There's no reset button here. He's pressing the gas, like he's pressing the brake, trying to start the car. It won't work. He's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but it doesn't work. I can't get my shit out of the trunk. <laughs> it's like, it would be nice if there was a way to get shit out of the trunk. Hello, this shit don't want to work. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, and I'm sitting there I'm like, hold on, wait. That's got to be like a hundred and something thousand dollar car. You're telling me the shit don't work? Like it's malfunctioning only... in your face, bro. Yeah, 
Yeah. He, yo, he told Alexa, because it's operated by Alexa. He goes, Alexa, it's too warm in the car. So Alexa goes, oh, do you want me to drop the, the temperature by five degrees and open up the driver's side vents? Yes. I don't know what yes <laughs> means. That was the response. I don't know what yes means. He goes, lower the temperature and open up the fucking vents. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, I felt his frustration. And I'm sitting there like, yo, I don't know how, Sway. I don't I don't know how they expect everybody to have electric cars. But... That's the that's the move. Yeah. They're gonna start implementing mad uh uh charge stations by like twenty twenty five. Yeah. There's one you know, right they're outside. They're gonna make a big move and you're gonna see this shit flooded outside. Yeah. You see the one right outside the parking lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just noticed that one yesterday when I went to the uh, the mm-hmm. deli. I'm like, oh, shit. And I've seen it in use. You see people with the wires. Just yeah, yeah. The like holes and just... Yo, in my head, I'm like, how does somebody not just unplug this? Yo, I, yeah. So many things. Cut the wire, some asshole. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. How long does it charge though? I don't know the rates. Like how like I think so there's there's one that like the slow charge is eight hours. So it's supposed to be like overnight and shit like that. And then there's like the rapid charge is anywhere from like a half hour to an hour. Charge fully. Cause show when he had his you Tesla, gotta pay for that, right? Yeah. When he well, if in in the house, if you have the charger in your house, I think it comes out to like eighty seven cents a day. You know, for the electric, you know, because uh, it, it's like a capacitor, so it it stores the energy there, and then it, it uses it when it needs it. So it doesn't draw your electricity like that. But um, show would go to actual charge station. They had the the, the rapid chargers, and I think he said yeah. it was like an it was like an hour or some shit that he had to wait to charge. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Times are changing. Yeah, yo, so they what they want to do is have what's called um the wireless charger where the ground actually with your tires rotating would actually charge the battery while you're driving. So you don't need none of that shit. Which would be dope, but I don't know how electricity is supposed to flow through rubber. Rubber's an insulin. Hmm. How are you supposed to charge your car through rubber? Hmm. Can't. Well, I I, I don't know it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know it. Yeah. Now, the hybrids, the way they charge, so like the Prius, I know, it has a a gas engine and an electric engine. And what it uses, it uses the transmission as almost like an alternator for that battery so it's always constantly recharging that battery so mm-hmm. use the gas engine to charge the, the electric battery that's why you only have is that, that all this similar to like how headlights work or no like how headlights like get charged while it's running all right so the battery in a regular car gets charged by the alternator okay because the alternator spins and that makes the electrical current and it charges the battery back up. So that's why the battery takes a very long time to die. So it's it's kind of like that property, okay. but in a bigger scale for the batteries in the hybrid cars. But in the regular electric cars, I un- I never understood how you couldn't do the same shit for an all electric car. Like you have four spinning wheels. Now here's where 820 horsepower will, will play into. If you're going to add that extra friction to, to to put like an alternator or a fucking generator on the wheels to recharge your battery, that extra horsepower would make it spin faster so it can compensate for the extra resistance. Make sense? I think so. Sounds like it did. Yeah, and I'm not a scientist, but I'm like, I'm a, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Too dangerous for me, bro. I hear you. I hate you. <laughs> the last thing you need is for a fucking battery to explode on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yo, there's going to be a lot of explosions, bro. <laughs> Word. You're going to be sitting there like, yo, 
I hit the I hit that pothole. Shit, I hope I didn't bend my boof. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get Alexa to work and I thought this shit could handle a pow. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you cheap picking up some food and boom. Word. <laughs> That's how they get you, man. They fuck with you, man. Oh, shit, bro. That's what I said. And the crazy shit is um, Tesla, a couple years ago, was supposed to come out with a car that was like $35,000 to be more affordable. And I sat in it. I was like, oh, this is not bad. You know, I didn't like I'm sitting in a Tesla and I'm like, I don't know what you want me to expect. This is a car. The dashboard looks looks nice, but it's still a car at the end of the day. Like I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting in a Rolls Royce where the, the back seat has a refrigerator and a drop down TV and and a bitch sucking on your meat. It's just, you change the way the dashboard looks. <laughs> you win an award. Like, I don't know what you want from me. This shit is too expensive. Get, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, cool. What happened to the Tesla truck? <laughs> they couldn't figure out a way to make that bulletproof glass ball proof. <laughs> they didn't want... They don't want people <laughs> driving that Tesla truck around Little League parks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 it's bulletproof. Uh, back to you. <laughs> back to you, Fred. <laughs> Whenever I worked at the college and we cleaned some Tesla, bro, they'd be looking like a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, them shits be weird. And yo, it's like they only ever came in white and black. That's just, now you see like them in gray or some shit, but all in the streets, you only see a white one that's dirty or a black one that looks faded. Maybe you gotta pay, maybe you gotta clean a Tesla different than every other car. <laughs> Fred dead, the bulletproof didn't save him word. But yo, on that note, guys. Yo, for real, I'm knocking out. <laughs> yeah, Cruz is knocking out. It's 12 o'clock. We having too much fun. You know, Tesla's gonna, they got money. They're gonna find us. <laughs> they're gonna find us and they're gonna poison our. Nigga, we could survive that shit. Yeah. Like, we, the, the shit we trained us for this shit. <laughs> they, come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, Good night, everybody. Fellas. Good night, guys. Good night. Appreciate y'all being here.